Welcome, friend, to the world of Krim. Step into the river of time and let it carry you along its slow-moving current as it winds its way through history and the continent of Ancelon. Be a part of that history as you join the never-ending struggle between chaos and order. On Krim, the gods of good and evil war eternally, joined in the battle by mortal beings such as yourself and Krim's true children, the dragons. You may journey with wizards as they risk their lives to take the test that can grant them great power. You may quest with brave knights to prove honor and worth or discover heroes and ordinary people who fight for their homes and loved ones. Your travels may take you through lands of mysterious ruins populated with terrifying creatures. You may fly on the backs of dragons in service of your cause, be it good or evil. The continent of Ancelon is a land of marvelous beauty with a rich and fascinating history. You can choose to fight on the side of good, serve the cause of evil, or work to maintain the balance of the world. You may restore lost knowledge to the people or search for powerful magical artifacts to aid in your struggle. You will face the awesome power of enemy worms soar the skies on the backs of dragons that serve your cause. Welcome, friends, to the Dragonlance campaign. Brought to you by iGame Online. left off we were well you just decided to push open the door ever so gently and then and made this grandest creak screaming sound and then the dragon kind of rolled over and just like wobbled around a bit and then went back to sleep heavily snoring it's taking in real big like you know it's like sucking in all the air of the room you can see it like it's 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 like it's lungs filling and it seems to just pause for a second then breathes out again. As it breathes out, it's breathing also breathes out these like strange green mists coming out of its nostrils. Okay. Mm -hmm. Green mist. Yeah, kind of like a green mist. Uh, wouldn't that indicate? I'm just saying this as a player. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the opposite side of the room from you, so I can't respond. Eep. Yeah, kind of like some, some screen screen mist. Um, yeah, see so your door, the one that Tannis and Flint and who we got over there, Caramon. Chris. And Rislin. The last time I remember, Caramon was standing on a pressure plate. He is. Uh, he, he is waiting until he hears a roar of a dragon. Oh, okay. Yep, he was instructed not to move, and I do have his level 10 lightning scroll. bolt scroll. Yeah, level 10 lightning scroll. Uh, lightning bolt scroll. One use only. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, dragon has rolled over. So, guys on the opposite side. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got your doors open? Have you got your door open? Yeah, we were opening it up, and then we suddenly saw someone fall through. <laughs> Uh, just, just to clarify, which side are we on? The We're top on, or the uh, bottom? No, the right hand side. Right hand side. Right hand door side, okay. Yeah. Um, Upside the chamber. You can see a big dizzy Who fell into it? <laughs> on their side, um. Uh. Tannis? Face planted, I think it was. Um. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tannis on their side face planted through their door. Oh. Doors open. The dragon sort of rolled over after a little bit of a disturbance. Yeah, he got a little bit of a disturbance for the dragon. He rolled over, kind of like did a back roll, uh, like a back scrip, scrip kind of thing. Like, like rolled, he rolled around in the gold and the treasure. There's, there's a, a, a monumental amount of treasure here. Um, some of it appears to be silver, some of it appears to be gold, but there's others like bits and pieces in there as well. There's multiples of gems, um, trinkets. The, you can see there's an assortment of like oil paintings still in their picture frames, uh, gilded framed pictures, you know, and uh, and and as well as chests and like um, uh, silverware and uh, various pieces of armor and shields and, and bits and pieces and things like that, just all piled up. And this dragon just seems to be like comfortably just like rolling around on it. Yeah. Mm, okay. Did we manage to like? Convince some of the tribe to just make um, it. They're going to stay up the top then until anything happens. If any more forces come towards them or us, they're going to engage. If not, they're going to wait until we kill the dragon to escape. So they're just back up at the moment, yes? Well, yeah, kind of. They're not around where we are, though. Kind of spectators at the moment. Okay, I, I just wanted to clarify because I don't know the whole scenario since I didn't actually finish. Yeah, I mean, they're not really session. going to get involved, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. They're only going to get in the way. Hmm. If you say so. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they're, 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 they're in another part of this, this dungeon at the moment. Um, the the people that you rescued. So, it's just you. There's four, new, four of you on one side. I didn't three do you it. Need the door. <laughs> three of you need the door. Uh, Karamon is stood off his foot, holding down something. Um, we just heard a slight click too. Wasn't too sure what it was. Everybody advised him just to stay there, don't move. Um, and the, other, the, the remaining four, the other four, are on the other door on the opposite side. Like I said, the, the, this, this chamber is about a hundred foot across. Yeah, um, it's an open room. It's very, very open. Um, there's the pillars around the outsides of the building, uh, outside of the walls. Pillars around the outside of the walls that seem to just like strut up like um, like ribs um, of some uh, strange creature or something like that. They seem to just curve and spiral up into a giant dome above you. But in the centre of the dome, there is a, an opening uh, in the roof. Yeah, like a hole in the roof. It's very large. It's about 20 foot across this opening. Well, and it goes like. Do we see daylight at the top? It's too far up to actually see. So yes, there's no like light, it's just dark. It's just dark, yeah, but there is an opening. It's about 20 foot across, like 20 foot across, 20 foot diameter opening in the season. Above the dragon. Has the room itself got any light in it? Uh, yeah, there is, um, you know, like braziers kind of like lit up um, in various spots around the, um, around the circumference of the treasure pile. Yeah, in each of the alcoves. Uh, between the pillars on the outer outer perimeter of the wall, there is torches as well. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, I'm going to look across the way that I can see where Tannis was, and sort of like motion that we're going to sneak in, sort of thing. I, I do like some sort of funky hand signal saying, oh, "I'm going to sneak," and then like do the two fingers jumping up and down in the air <laughs> that way. <laughs> And point the direction. I'm going to roll if I can see with their thinly cracked door what he's doing. Oh, I opened it enough to see who fell through or what, what happened. Oh, Was that just noise? So it's not it's not open thinly enough. Like, I'm sticking my head in. You should see me. Yeah, you should. Yeah. yeah. But do yeah. not underestimate being distracted by a giant dragon. Try perception. <laughs> Even if he doesn't see me, I've done that and starts trying to sneak around with. Well, I say to Riverwind, you gotta sneak around to find what we're looking for and get behind or prepare to attack the dragon with everyone else. Well, then we die. Can I see the room as well? Can you? See I'm with the... Tannis. That fell oh, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah like... you see the, 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 the door on the other side is just right open, like all the way open. Not open a little bit, open a foot. It, it's all the way open. Yeah. Cool. 
There's one thing you would you would understand is if you ever try to close the door, it'll probably make the same sound being closed. Yeah. Best leave it open. <laughs> yeah, if you try to close the door, it's going to make a horrendous sound when you try and close the door as well. Oh, it, could be, it could be like buried all underneath this. Come on. It could well be, that's why we've got to be very careful. We're talking, there's, there's mountains, there's mountains of gold, mountains of steel, and mountains of silver. Yeah, I know we have to be very careful, but one little move later on, everything will go sliding. That's why we're trying to get into preparations ready for the dragon. Okay, so what's the what's the plan? You're right, there, Tannis. I whisper to Tannis, <laughs> kind of, because <laughs> he's on the floor, right? Because of the door. I pick up Tannis by the collar. No, Tannis is on their side, not our side. Oh, really? not on my side. Yeah, yeah, we're on a different side from them. Oh. What? Oh yeah, that's right. We have um, the we've got that, Tika um, and uh, the other girl. Guy. Hasselhoff. Guy. Hasselhoff and Tika. <laughs> Tika. Yeah. I knew who I was meant about. Yeah. I, 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 I can't believe you got Tasselhoff confused with a girl. Oh, uh, you know, I I thought Tasselhoff was Tika for a second, and I was trying to think of Tika's name. Well, Tika's Tika. No. Tika, 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 Tika. Tika, Tika. Tika 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 What are we trying to make Tika do? Nothing. I whispered if you were okay, Faye. Do Tannis. Okay. Um. I'm fine. I, I get. I collect myself, and I'm standing up again. I'm okay. trying to do so fairly quietly. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So dragon. someone thought that I could see their gesture while I was still prone and trying to get my butt up, and clearly I didn't, so I'm hoping one of you saw it. Did I but... see it? <laughs> yeah, you make a roll for it. No, no, I don't know, no, I was can, pretty can, can much the... like kind of face palming at tennis falling to the ground. <laughs> and I mean, then if you look into the same way, you're gonna see me walking in there, so... <laughs> It's, it's, it's a, sat, sat in front of you on a huge pile of treasure is a, an enormous, enormous black dragon. It's sleeping at the moment, but that does not mean it's like it's not dangerous. It is lethal. But it's just sitting there at the moment, just sleeping. He just wishes his belly rubbed. If we could, like, slit his throat when he's sleeping, is that even possible? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it could be already aware. I am starting to sneak in as, poss as much as I can, trying to keep close to the wall and trying to avoid stamping on any treasure just to get into the room. So the door gets opened a bit more. Oh no. Okay. Yeah? Yes. You push the door open a little bit more. The door is now open about, about a foot and a half. So I can squeeze through, no problem. Oh, you can squeeze through, yeah, you can squeeze through, yeah. Cool. The only, person, the, the, the only thing that would have difficulty getting through is somebody completely, like, really big or wearing heavy armor. Eggton, we've got none of those. Yeah, right, yeah, it's, it's, you're not wearing. <laughs> like a couple of people on the other side. Hi. <laughs> so, it's, it's 100, 100 foot across, this, this chamber. It's about four stories high as well. The roof of this, is, the roof of this building, is, or this room, is four stories high. Um, with a huge 20 foot opening in the roof. Yeah? The so you're snoring. saying it's hard for them to see us then, or...? What? Is it hard for them to see us? Because it's 100 foot, it's not that No, it's bad not that you can see each other. Yeah, you can see each other quite well. You, you can, you, yeah? Plus the, the the early indication of like the door screaming its lungs out uh, caused you to focus in that general direction, and then you focus quickly or you turn towards the dragon because it was moving around. Um, you were just preparing yourself just to run in there and just start like hacking hell to the dragon, and then realise that it just turned off and went back to sleep. 
be thankful it's a deep sleeper also really. Well it was a, just just a, it was a horrendously loud sound. Please be a deep sleeper and not just faking it. Okay. Is she is he or she snoring right now, the dragon? Dragon sleep the dragon snoring, yeah. So it's breathing in huge, huge like <laughs> So at, the moment, yeah. so at the moment, we're just hearing his or her long snoring, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right. seeing her snoring. You see his snoring, yeah. you see like a, like a wisp of green mist coming out of his nostrils every so often. Why do I get the feeling this is one of those poison dragons? I'm saying this as a player, not as a person. Mm. I swear that's a poison dragon. I mean, I guys, I, I don't mind trying to fight on my own, but I do help, like, wish for you guys to help me. I, I'm walking in the room. <laughs> There's only so much I can keep doing. <laughs> I, I also, like, tiptoeily pile. There's a massive, in, in massive the pile of treasure, like, um, surrounding. I'm right behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, we, we can, got can you far. draw a circle about how far out the treasure goes from his about, body? About how far the. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll do it in this nice kind of. So it encumbers almost half the entire room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's it's heavier and deeper in the middle, uh, but there's a lot of loose coins and gems and like small trinkets and things like that um, on the outskirts of the treasure. At the out outskirts, yeah. like where the dragons actually are. Is it like gold? There's golds. There's you didn't mention gold, silvers, and some other silver, trinkets. Silver, steels. There's gems. There's various artifacts as well. Including... Can I go to the closest steel and see what happens? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> like, like, like uh, just tiptoeing towards a steel. Oh no, you're going to kill. BBS would like to know if there are also weapons in the room. <clears throat> um, you can see, you can see an assortment of weapons that are in the room. Some of them just look like, um, like, like regular everyday kind of weapons. There's nothing special about them at all. Some of them look old and rusted. Um, one which really does kind of draw your attention towards it, and that's because it's still got the the severed limb of a human male holding it. That's nice. Huh. <laughs> Looks like... No, I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> hey, is that... Would that be the spear? Is it a spear that they're seeing at the moment? No, 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 it's just a weapon, just it'd be a sword or something like that. It's got a, it's got oh. a... Are there any spears? No, you, you can't really see much in the way of spears. I mean, they're sure there probably will be, but it, it, there might be an actual in the mass pile itself. The pile mm. itself contains everything. We're talking about uh, silverware from, like, you know, from household cutlery. Jewelry, coin. Silver trays. We're talking about gold gilded picture frames with the oil paintings still in them. There's, there's just tons of it, all piled up, all in different... And the dragon, dragon just seems to have like made itself a nice little nest in the middle. I'm not surprised. It, it is can a I, thing. Can I visually look without touching any other treasure or getting too close to it to see if I can see the items I'm after? What is it? Those rings again? The round disc. That's <clears throat> the discs. <gasps> Natural one! <laughs> Um, you don't see shit. <laughs> I didn't roll. Nah, I, rolled. I didn't roll. Oh, what? who rolled that? I, say, what you about? <laughs> I rolled it. I rolled that one. Um, you can see that you We're can see. taking my colours. So I'm pink at the moment. <laughs> oh. You can yeah. I'll, I'll switch over to. Yeah, you're usually black. black. There we go. Yeah. I'll switch over to black. There we go. I'll play oh, the I didn't mean. Yeah, you can see <laughs> white. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Don't go whitely. <laughs> You can see you can see what you're what you're looking for. What it is is that it is like it looks like a cylinder. It's about two foot long, and about six inches wide, and it looks like um, almost like a modern day battery. And it's got inserted into it like like a pile of coins, like in a stack. Mm. Yeah, but there's a there's a there's a, a um, um, it looks like a metal bolt. That seems to be running through the entire stack. That's holding them all together. Okay, so it does look like what I'm after. Then it looks like the big thing that I have to lift up. Yeah, it's about two foot, 
two foot long, about six inches uh, six inches wide, and it looks like there's about 50 plates, all like bolted with a bolt running through them, from top to bottom. Where do I see it? It's underneath. Is it next to the dragon? Or? Yeah, it's, 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 it's like just, just behind and to the right of the dragon, just under, just like partway under his wing. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, found it. <laughs> I still want to grab the closest steel, pl- steel pieces and gems, if that's possible, while trying to be very, 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 very quiet as a armored dwarf. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You mean? The- you, 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 you can move, you move into, you can see you can move into the room and um, you can see there's like loose gems, <coughs> necklaces, bracelets, like various trinkets. And yeah, I like shuffle, that. I shuffle, to the shuffle on the edge of of the the piles. Okay, I move into the room and I'm going to cast detect magic on the room itself. The, the room. might be quite good if I moved in. <laughs> <laughs> but I probably should have done that as well. Um, I've, I've moved into the room and that's what I am doing. I'm casting the cat magic on the room. I see. <clears throat> so that I can hear me. Okay. BBS says... BBS says... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright, yeah. BBS is asking if yeah, you can I, find anything. Yeah, I can... I'm there. Um, okay, you, you move into the room. Very quiet, um, wrestling, very, very stealthy. Don't have any metal armor or anything like that. Move on, you tip like very, very silently move into the room and you kind of wave your hand, like doing some kind of ritual in the air. Yeah, yeah. um, yes. well, roll for this. no, it's okay. You do a detect magic, it has a level, it has a level one spell. Our spells pretty much succeed automatically, though. yeah. Oh. You're just limited to how many times you can do it. Yeah, we're great that way. Um, okay. Oh. There, there's various objects around in the treasure that emanate some kind of um, some kind of magical property. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The dragon itself. Well, I can um, guess that that would be a given when it comes to a dragon. Uh, Gold moon staff. Already knew about that. Yeah, various other things um, dotted around. Um, and and you and, and you and your staff as well, obviously. <coughs> um, I'm pointing towards the guy that I've seen, by the way. Pardon? So everyone else can identify what I've seen. I'm trying things. to like that pointing thing. There's a few things in the treasure. The 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 the, the objects that um, Goldmoon is trying to actually get to that emanates some kind of like a green aura around it, a green aura. Yeah. There seem to be some loose rags uh, just off to one side from the dragon's neck that seem to emanate some kind of a, a white a white ore around them. Yeah? And there's a there's a book. It's a it's like a, a black kind of leather book and it looks like it's got some kind of silver engravings um, down the spine of it. Looks like rules, cool. but you can't really say what it is. And that one is just j- just off to one side from the dragon's hind legs. I go for the book. We are being guys. Why are we being greedy? There's a dragon. <laughs> I'm not being greedy. I've just located the item I want. And I You're fine. I'm I'm talking about race and going for a book. Oh right. <laughs> It is a book of magic, hun, and you know, Raceling, he likes his magic, so I want the goddamn book. Not in a freaking situation like this. Raceling, we can nick from him and then leave. To be honest, this could well be pretty good to get the bike going, so. Oh no. Because I, I can't get the item because he's. I'm going on for it. the book. I'm, I'm going for the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're special. either deciding to somehow slit his throat while he's sleeping, but I don't think that's possible. No, because that's no we, we'd make too many clanky noises going up the treasure too. Um, 
and unless I I can try shooting him right now while he's still asleep if someone doesn't wake him up. Do we know if the dragons are male or female? We just know it there's a dragon. Dragon, it's an it. Yeah, there's danglies. No, I mean by the armored. Like, I love the fact that you guys are assuming that an unarmored mage is going to make that much noise that he's going to wake a dragon. Even so... But you're going to remove a book that potentially might have other things that might jingle or jangle around. Um, yeah, it's yeah, like, the um, effect. It's like a Jenga. Um, VPS oh, oh. would like Raceland to look for a new spear for him, and also is wondering what the dragon sex has to do with anything. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm I think it's just saying it as a player. Because, her, because technically we don't know what the gender of the dragon is. Does it really matter? I mean, it's going to try and roast us alive anyway. I know, but it does talk, does it not? Well, no one's asleep. Not while it's asleep, of course not. The voice we've heard has people. been male. The voice we've heard has been male. Has it been male? It has been male. It's been a very creepy male man. What, by the dragon? Yes. Okay, so it's male then. Yeah, or just sounds male. Okay, okay. I just like to know the gender of my dragons as a player, and I've said on it. <laughs> I'm taking another look around the room, do I see any weapons within this room? Uh, there's an assortment of weapons that like that being um, like laid around the place, um, but like uh, the majority of them look like as if they've been used by people that are trying to assault or attack the dragon. So they look as if they've been burnt to a crisp. They don't look okay. Like, they don't look as burnt to a crisp. They kind of look all rusted and old and knackered, really. Well, it's probably been a while. So, um, can can I make eye shot with the party across the room? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can can party across the room see me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, should be, yeah. All right. So I pull out my bow, raise it up slightly, and put my fingers to my lips. I, I'm going to attempt to snipe the dragon while it's sleeping. I put my hand up quickly to say, like, stop. And then I move away <laughs> enough so I don't get hit by the dragon. And then I put my arms up. So, okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, so I am going to roll to hit the dragon with an arrow. Okay. Graceland, do you want to stop what you're doing and maybe come back? What is your thackle? Your bow? I do not have my character sheet up. Give me two shakes. All right. Okay. Two shakes of a lamp fail. <laughs> All right. You sort that out. Give me two minutes. I'll get ready for the battle. Oh, boy. Wait, he was, oh yeah, Tannis is saying. Yeah, I'll just move away from the dragon now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I would be next to you, wouldn't I? Like... Wait, where should I sit? Stand. Probably want to try to attack it from all sides, pretty much at the same time. I mean, I have. A Wait, how much as steel did I get from the bottom on the floor? I don't know, did you pick me up. I said I was doing that. Zelly, Zelly, if you pick a tiny little bit of steel from I'm the I'm not starter, picking it from the pile, I'm picking it from the floor. Which probably is near the pile. There's bits scattered around the room as well. Well, I, when I came in the room, I had to dodge a bit of um, treasure on the floor so I didn't make any noise to get to the pile that yeah. like of my item. So it's just a general bit on the floor that's dotted around. I, I'm like, no matter which part of silver it's going to be, one little push from it, or one little pull from it, it's gonna do a freaking domino effect, no, no matter what. Okay. We've said that, that's why I'm avoiding the pile. Pile. Um, right, who's taking a shot at what? Uh, uh, Tannis. Uh, I'm, I'm attempting to take a shot, I'm also attempting to talk to seven people. Okay, Tannis. Why am I popular about this time every day? <laughs> I mean, I have a ranged weapon as well, don't I? Yeah, do you two want to like, team up and do the range? I have a longbow, which is a plus two to hit. How about we do a three, two, one, go? Yeah, that's Signals. cool. Signals. Three, three, two, three. one, go. All right. Who Here's... wants to count? 
Well, I'm gonna be rolling in Discord, so it'll be in the RP thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean in it, our characters who's counting. No, I guess Goldwing will if she can see you both. What's your, yeah. What's your that call? I'm I'm working on that. Oh, okay, okay. I'm working uh, on. Thacko I... on the. No, I don't have I'm a lumbar. Uh, I have a short bow, which is oh. with my arrows. So I don't have the plus two. How much steel did I grab from the closest to us? Because I didn't move too much. I did wanted to stay away from the pile as possible. <laughs> stay away from the pile as much as possible. <laughs> How much did I get in coins? Um, okay, my Thacko yeah. is 16. What's Faye's character, Thacko? Just working down. Working on it. Working on it. <laughs> It'll be on the second character sheet. Yeah, no, it's right. She's I got know. other things to deal with at the moment as well, so... Hmm. Okay, Okay. Uh, my Thacko is 15. Okay, Faye, you can go first if you want. Well, they're both gonna shoot at the same time, but yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get the rules, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, Faye, go first, I'll go second. That's a miss. Um, I rolled a 6. <laughs> That's a miss. That's a miss. I rolled an 11. That's a miss. <laughs> is it a miss? I thought we were supposed to roll under our Thacko. No. Okay. It's above it, isn't it? No, no, I know, I know what that goes. The, the dragon's armor class is minus three. Okay. All right. So I add three to your thackle. Does your thackle to hit armor class zero? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to get high. Wait, One still. Okay. I have to get a natural. I have to get a nineteen or twenty. Yeah. Fuck. Huh. Well, then phases hit then, hasn't it? Because she's got a uh, faculty of 15. Yeah, it, it should. And uh. she got a 6, isn't Yeah, the 15 plus or minus 3, that makes 18. No, so then then we're changing things up because we've been doing under. You have to roll under your faco this whole time. Have we? Mm. I not so. No. Uh, I thought that as well. I thought we've been going under faco because yeah, the, the, lower chance, the lower chance... My 15 would then become a 12. I'd have to roll lower than a 12. I'm sure it was yeah. supposed to be. Because our I mean, are... obviously, I mean, and yeah, so I mean, I thought that I had done well, because but the whole thing is we've been trying to get closer to one with all of our rolls this whole entire time. And the only time where 20 works is it's a natural 20 opposed to a natural one. And that's why it's always been so confusing. I always still get confused no matter what with this dragon right. art. But I, I'm pretty positive I was supposed to roll low. You wanna roll low? Yeah, because some of our higher Faco had a better chance of getting in between their Faco limit. Right. It, it's the higher Faco the better, so because you're supposed to have more range below it. Right. I got an eleven, so that would have been fourteen then. No. Oh. Whispers checking the rule book again. I'm just checking the rules. I, I mean, just that's what I thought, I thought it's, that's it's what, what we've doing. been doing this whole yeah, time yeah. is that we've had to roll under. Must have been a oh well since we last fought then if we can't. Oh, you, just... you want to roll under, I can reverse it. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay. So whatever you roll minus three. three. No, add three to it. Okay, so I will add three to my six, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still under fifteen. Yep. And mine's under 16, so that would have been 14, uh, 14 total. 20 total? Yeah, yeah. total for me is 14, because I had to get under 16. 16's one. Okay, Jade, Jade rolled an 11, added her 3, became 14, and her Thacko is 16, so she hit 2. Okay, yes. right. Yeah we, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, right, two did two arrows hit the dragon. Okay, you roll mm-hmm. for damage. Uh, so that is a. Cool. Oh, I'm glad I don't have a faco. <laughs> well, I mean, I do, but... <laughs> um, this is a one d six because we're dealing with a large, right? 40. Yes. Okay. Uh, for me, it's a one d six, but either. So that means I have to roll fourteen or less. <laughs> if I ever attack, that's me. One. Every little helps. 
Don't look what I just rolled, please. Uh, a one. Already did, sorry. Mm. Okay, one point damage. From me. <laughs> Five points damage from me. How many? Five points. Five? Yeah. Right, six points damage. Okay. Two. Dragon's awake. <laughs> oh, Dragon's shit. definitely awake now. Oh, yes. Oh, don't we get... Do we get anything bonus for being sneaky sneak? Not now. What? <laughs> well, before, no, when before, we were shooting him with an arrow. Get, like, yeah, 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 you, you, got, you, got, you got your bonus. Okay. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have stood by his tail and chopped it oh, off. I said that! I said you need to prepare... Oh, my God. <laughs> You're too busy going in silver. Oh, Nick steel. And no, I grabbed that, but it's been, well, tell me how much I grabbed. Yeah, I know. And then I moved. Yeah, and how much you grabbed? You managed to grab four. Four! Yay! <laughs> four still pieces. <laughs> Dragon is awake now. Yeah. Good, I'm four still pieces richer. Okay. So Raceland, do your thing! Bonus damage for our no. no bonus damage, they're normal weapons. Ugh. You did six points of damage. Yeah, one point from me and the rest from Faye. Yeah, still yes. more damage than I would do. <laughs> I could have rolled much better. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Eh. Alright, the dragon is so, awake. Did, did, he make, did he make a round sound? Oh yeah, he hit the, 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 the first. As soon as the first, like the two arrows seem to hit into it, into it, the side of his neck, um, simultaneously. Mm. He is absolutely furious now. Um, oh, shit. Uh, they're, they're not life-threatening, like shots with an arrow, um, but the, yeah, the dragon, the dragon is absolutely he's fully awake now. He's looking around, and immediately. He smells the like as he wakes up. His, his senses just immediately kick in. His eyes open wide, and they're massive. The eyes are massive, they're like the size of dinner plates. What color? Uh, like a like like a green kind of jade color. Oh, like an emerald jade color. Yeah, okay. like like a like a like a green. Um, a, a, a deep yeah, green there is color. a definitely. <laughs> there's a definitely black, a scary eye black seven. skinny like skin. Um, scales. Um, his, his wings are really dark, leathery. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. First thing he yes. does is he whips his tail around. He, he like he he, he he realizes he's under attack. He whips his tail around. Then there's like a, a shower of coinage just going through the air. Oh shit. Neat. Yeah. Yeah looks around and he sees Flint bending down, picking up steel. I already picked it up! <laughs> picking up, <laughs> picked up four steel Why pieces. Why time go slow for me? <laughs> picking up steel pieces. I've been saying it like 20 minutes ago, like I picked up and then I stay. That's all I fucking... Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Why are you doing this to kill Flint? <laughs> I see your ruse. I see your ruse. ruse. Flint, Flint, <laughs> Flint's like got, he's got, he's got four steel pieces in his hands. Uh, looking around, looking for more like uh, things that you can. I'm not looking up. for more. I said I grab the mount and I Flint. stop. Flint stood there. Uh, Putting words in my mouth. Caramon is. Caramon can hear this, this. 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 The, the dragon. Caramon is well aware now that the, the dragon is awake. Is this misinterpret Zelly day? No. Yes. <laughs> Barely. Zelly, go ahead and restate what you want to do. No, I already said what I wanted to oh do. That I was gonna pick a bit, and I was gonna stand ready when they were firing. When you guys were firing on the dragon, I was gonna okay. be ready with my axe. So, man. so Flint, Flint is ready with an axe. Does Flint want to take an action while the dragon's in more in like to hit its tail? I don't know if I'm close enough to like whack on his toe or something away from his swinging toe. tail. No, his toe is really close up to the middle of the. Yeah, end, exactly. <laughs> The only thing is, is if I was like at the point of his tail, like to chop it before he wiggles it around. But then, like he's wiggling it around now, so. On, yeah. When you get a chance, grab it. <laughs> grab it. <and> <laughs> it. 
roll to hold on for dear life. <laughs> oh my god. I might do that. It depends. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. With yeah, my shield. We should hear a gong here at any point. Whenever BVS would like to join us. Um, he dropped out a tabletop, so he'll probably have to just type in the chat. <laughs> hmm. It's always is, but everybody's watching the wrong chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's not in tabletop chat. chat. He, he's, yeah, he's just. No, I, out I made the chat channels on the on the Discord. That was all. Was like I'm trying to keep an eye on all of them because I don't know. Well, he's, he's mute at the moment. So... Oh well. Okay, yeah, that, so, yeah. dragon, Dragon's Enraged, if you, you, oh my have you got a plan of what you're going to do, or...? Um, before we kind of go deeper for a bit, Jade and Faye and Sally, BBS is on a different uh, system this week and his microphone is not the best. That's the reason he's typing. He says he's running towards the room. Cameron is charging towards where the dragon is. Oh, right, I see, he's in really? the channel. Because of the roar. He's running into the room, right? He's running into the room. Mm. So we should oh, have God a man. massive gong going off in the background. Oh boy. Hopefully deafening or causing some form of pain to the dragon. Not likely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not likely, but you never know. It might be loud enough to um, give the dragon some fury. Probably one of his Probably tracks. gonna notify everyone now. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, big baddie dragon is screaming. Oh. Who dropped? Did we lose? Oh, Faye! Faye! She's still in tabletop, so. Um. A spell of some description. I say, oh, what big eyes you have for a dragon. <laughs> Really, you're gonna taunt it? <laughs> oh, no, that's not taunt, that's just, you know. Eyes, <laughs> you see. Welcome What's back. that? Hmm? Is this the dragon we seen earlier? Yeah, it's the same dragon. Yes, it's the same dragon. Same the hmm. dragon that kicked your ass earlier on. Yeah, that yeah. poisoned most it of us. Technically, it didn't kick our arses. I blinded the fucker and it ran away. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it, it didn't run anywhere, it just circled around and then poisoned everyone else. The two heat, uh, the two magic people were fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I'm trying to stay close to the door. I didn't because get if poisoned. necessary, we can just close the door to keep the poison from hitting us. I think I got put to sleep, so I didn't get poisoned. It's not yeah, so you much. got hit by the door, didn't you? It's yeah, not so yeah much. the door's yeah. moving. <laughs> it's not so much the, like, dragon spewing poison that I'm really, really worried about. It's the dragon spewing poison at us and the massive amounts of um, dra is it dragonians? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming our possible way, considering that Cameron has off the Titanic, well, off the plate, and there's a big bad noise hopefully happening via a gong. Dragon screaming in pain from you guys shooting it with an arrow. It's got two arrows in it at the moment, it's six points damage. Mm. <clears throat> On top of the round, who's gonna fight first? You. Goldmoon! <laughs> well, after range, I guess it's close range and then movement. And then... Well, it depends. What, is everyone running in to draw weapons to fight? Like, what's, what's happening now? Yeah, running down the corridor. Caramon is running down the corridor towards the, the sound of the noise. I might um, see if there's a way I can jump on that tail then. But I'm not gonna do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> the tail's whipped around and it's, it's scattering coinage, just like coins flying through the air. Oh, I so want to keep an eye open out. to see if my thing gets thrown away and I want to grab it as soon as it can. Like, if I could get, if there's been chucked to one side, that's what I want to go to. It was under the dragon's wing. The dragon's wings kind of like, like, beat it outwards. Yeah. Um, and the, and the, um, the, the, the object that you were, uh, you have an interest in is now, like, just behind the dragon's, like, rear. 
uh, rear claws, rear feet. Ah, okay, so still not quite in reach. No. It, no. If we had a spell like ACO, that would be fantastic and we wouldn't have had to wake up the dragon. A spell like what, sorry? ACO. It's like a sleep thing, is it? Or no, H- Harry Potter summoning spell. Oh, I have quite a few of them. What would you summon? Uh, well, I can summon either a swarm or a monster. Any <clears throat> on that? God, we would be terrible if there was like an, an hourglass here. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm gonna summon he first. Dragon's re- re- like the dragon is now taken in the full, all the details. He knows who's in the room. He knows from all your smells, all the scents. First, how many in the room? Summoning a unseen servant. Okay, summoning an unseen servant. The level one spell. Yeah, yeah. And once the unseen servant has appeared. Um, I can actually remember whether or not he can attack. I don't think he can attack. No, Unseen Servants are not able to attack. Instructing it... the Unseen Servant to grab said black book from earlier. Oh, you can, can you, you can retrieve it. <laughs> so, hold on, somebody was going... <laughs> it was Faye. Yeah, it was because... Because Wayson is always doing his unseen servant to fetch an item for personal gain and not the discs of Mishkal. Yeah, he's not interested in them. <laughs> I don't oh think he knows God. about the discs of Mishkal yet. I, I swear somebody needs to All shout right. at him Never to mind. forget about yourself and get the discs. Are you casting yeah, a spell or not? Dragon roaring! <laughs> the Unseen Servant cannot fight, nor can it be killed. It is rather a force, rather than a physical creature. Don't run away! Die. Why did Jai run away? Oh, Jai, no! I have no idea why Jai just ran away, but yeah, Unseen Servant cannot... I went into Channel 3. Channel 3? Yeah, I, I have no idea why he's at Channel 3. Was it something that we possibly said? Or... Right, well, while he's casting, someone else do something. <laughs> Let me do something because the dragon's going to make an attack. He knows he knows who's in the room. He knows what races are in the room. He knows how many there is. I can't move and attack at the same time with his tail whipping because I can't reach any of the stuff. I don't think I can. From where I am. That's well, why I can't, you, really can't do anything. If you guys aren't going to do anything, anything, I'm going to attempt to shoot an arrow at it. And I'm going to assume that... Tasselov may want to do his whoop hack at it. Okay. Who's playing Tasselov today? Zeddy. Yes. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to open his sheet so I could do that. Back row 15. I rolled a 5. Okay. Because I believe he has a range as well. Great. He does, yeah. It's um, like a slingshot. What, what number am I adding to this now that he's awake? <clears throat> to this? Adding five yeah, to adding it. Yeah, five. adding five. So I'm at ten with a Thacko of fifteen I hit. That's it. Okay. Roll dice for damage. Who keeps yeah, putting the dice sling. back? Hmm? Sorry, it's like a knob. There he goes. It just it takes me longer because I'm staying on flick. Okay, go. Oh, sorry. So after Two damage that time. Nice. See, Jade, you're not the only person doing low damage. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, uh, Tassel Hoff will do the slingy slingshot. Thacko of 18. Lady? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thacko of 18. I'm just concerned about what, what, what's happening with Jai. He's venting at the moment, so he's just 
bit annoyed, I think, because everyone's trying to tell him what to do, but he wants to do something else. I was only saying... 16. 16? I don't think that hits. No, that's a miss. Yep. I wouldn't worry, honey. He just needs to realise that there's a dragon that's going to kill us if we don't have to do anything with the dragon. He's we standing around with a later. No plan. <laughs> I know. I was only just saying that in particular situations like this, to get anything that you need, you have to fight what's in front of you right? maybe that's how he's playing his character he obviously doesn't care so let's, let's just leave that <laughs> as Raislin's character I know but he has to have some standards to say okay I'm in a different situation so got no standards. can Wibberwind shoot as well no can, can you uh, rib, uh, shoot as well Wibberwind uh, I can definitely try like, the most people getting long range damage into this is like the best at the moment yeah, okay. yeah, it's so, okay. Uh, the dragon's gonna have a go in a minute. I want to okay. uh, summon my spiritual hammer as well. Isn't it? So that was sixteen. What? That's a failure. Okay. Wait. Nope. My Thaco is sixteen. Yeah, that's what? natural one. Oh, you did a natural one. That's a natural that's one. That's fail. Complete failure. Okay. Um. Don't shoot me. Uh, 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 Riverwind's on one the... side. On this side, yeah. Yep. I was okay. To I was Pull back yeah. on the string. It flies mm -hmm. through the air. Dragon hears the arrow going through the air and just rolls out the way. The arrow is now traveling past the dragon mm -hmm. towards Caramon, who's running through the door. Oh, fuck. Okay, what's the damage on the. Oh! It's a 1d6. Caramon takes five yeah. points damage. Wait, didn't I have to roll that? No, I roll it. I'm the game's master. Oh, fuck. Wow, he just rolled it all for us. <laughs> okay, I so Caramon's did... taking five points damage. BBS, you're taking five points damage. I didn't mean to. I am sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm saying that to towards BBS's character. So. Uh, which is his damage counter, so we can minus it for him. Oh, oh wait, where is he? Oh, yeah. he's already in. Because he's the doing. critical fail from Jade shoot from all the way across the room into where you are. Caramon is now in the room. <coughs> he just gets into the doorway of the room and Arrow lodges into his leg. <laughs> well, that was not meant to happen, okay? <laughs> that was never... Swish, Ever swish. Okay. Dragon looks in the direction of who fired the arrow. Oh, fuck. Yes, and does a brief attack. Uh... <laughs> Gold Moon, I hope you're not near me. <laughs> you're all bunched together. So do I. Yeah. You're all bunched together. No, I, I wasn't that close to him. I was like, it's only, so this, but this, is, this is only 100 foot across, so and you're in separate parties. You've got to be pretty close together. It's a corner yeah. fire as well, so it's a. Uh, it's got it. It's, oh, got so it's it. probably got the time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my armor class is of five. Five? Armor class is five, yes. Okay. Uh, thanks, <coughs> one. You just need to tell me what you roll so I know. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Does that hit? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Anybody else got a armor class of um, anything less than five? I've got eight, so I don't know how that works. You're hit. Okay. Is anybody less than five? Less Wait, than five. Less than five, yes. Has Tika or Tasloff got an armor class of less than five? Um, let me check. No. All six. Right. Just okay. like Flint. Six. Tika's four. Tika's four, okay. Tika, Tika. Uh, Tika's four and um, Tannis is four. Oh, uh, Tannis is on the other party. Wait, which side is he uh, aiming for? Is it just the Remember one side? The Gold Moon team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm safe then. <laughs> Flint's safe, but that's off is not. <laughs> also, um, BBS is saying about the saving throws, which is quite true because we have saving throw throws oh, against. Oh, I know you do, yeah. And after I... we've been here. Uh, after you've been yeah, here, yeah. Tika doesn't need to make a saving throw. Um, so, Gold Moon. Riverwind, yeah. 
and Tasselhoff have to make a saving throw versus breath. So whatever your versus breath is, breath. yeah, on saving throws, you've got a breath. Sixteen. You have to roll oh. that or less. Sixteen 15. or less. Okay. Versus breath. Where is that? Saving throws on the first next armor class. That's an eighteen. Oh, no. Thirteen. That's an eighteen. Okay, you need thirteen or less than honey jade. Oh. Okay, me 16 or less. I bet you I get a natural 20 somehow. I'm gonna have 20 still a save, so it's okay. 19, no! No! <laughs> 9. 9, that's good, okay. It was gonna be 11, which is under 16, and then it became a 19, motherfucker. Uh, Sorry, Tessa Hoff. Okay, Riverwind, Riverwind, you're safe. Okay, who's Where's Tessa Hoff's thingy? Uh, Tika, Tika's fine. Tika, Tika didn't actually get in, get caught in. Oh, the... right, she didn't get hit. That's right. I've yeah, got her it... character sheet up. Yeah, by the she didn't way, actually so... get caught in it. But Tessa Hoff, all of you got caught in it. But Riverwind has managed to like resist the acid breath, or the acid vapors that seem to just rush past his body. It's more like I knew a, it was like, more like a seething heat that seems to be like burning the skin, giving kind of like a skin rash, a skin, skin irritation. Gold Moon uh, has been hit, and Tasloff has been hit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So just they basically that... got to get less than the breath. So. Just, just as that happens, Gold Moon's staff glows at, like a very, very bright blue. Hey, good luck without me. <laughs> yeah, very, very bright, bright, bright blue. And it looks like there's an, an, a, an invisible force field has just appeared in front of Goldmoon and just in front of Tasselhoff. What um, deflect Dragon Breath points have you got for your staff there? Oh yeah, my uh, deflect Dragon Breath in 10 foot radius, 10 charges. Okay, so you've lost 10 charges on your staff? Yep. Already? Yeah. Okay. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'm still good, don't worry. Sorry, you, 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 you're all safe, you're all safe. <coughs> yeah? Okay. I was just like, a, just like, a, like a kind of like, it, it, it smells like somebody's just dropped a jar of vinegar. Yeah? Around you. I, I would have thought it smelled more like puke. Well, yeah, that kind of thing as well, but yeah, it's, it's like it's got that, that rancid, Pukey vinegar. That rancid mm. kind of like smell in the air, it's like, oh my god, like, like, like pickled eggs. It's just been thrown past you, like a whole bucket of it, it's just been thrown all over you. Ooh, nice. Yeah, first but you one. haven't you haven't received any damage. The blue crystal stuff seemed to like glow a big bright blue, and then an invisible force field came over the top of you. Oh, neat! Yeah, don't expect that to happen again. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, that was neat. Can you do that again? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dragon is now like it, it fully aware that you have the blue crystal staff. Oh dear. I smile. <laughs> I don't... Don't, don't taunt it. <laughs> next. Range of movement next. Well, I have range. Everyone that attack range is already Everybody, Everybody's attack range. Everybody's attack range. Anybody want to do any um, move into position to do a melee attack and maybe charge it? Can I, like, <laughs> move... So no one's taking any damage yet, have they? So that's not actually, I don't no, you're it. taking a massive Can... amount of damage. Mm. But staff save How it. close am I to his... 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 Body. His body. Oh, pretty close. You're about 20 feet. How close am I to his wiki, wacky tail? His, his tail's whipping around, yeah, um, but <laughs> you might have the opportunity to take a swing at it. Uh, sure. Please. Um, okay, because he's facing, he's facing this group over here, so his tail's going to be behind him. You have the opportunity to take one attack on his tail. Can I grab his tail too? You want to grab it? I want to try. I'm gonna kill Flynn! <laughs> Bye, guys! <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Okay. Oh, yeah? Jump on his tail, yeah. You're gonna try and jump on his tail. Yeah? And then I can go on his back and whack him. Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, let's see if you can do a normal, normal attack to see if you can actually get over his tail then. 
What says what he normal just normal attack well, well, with doorway. <laughs> and ready well, to sword. Yeah, just just mm. your just your base stack up. Just take it wherever your highest stack is. Which is my battle axe. Yeah, use that. Okay, my th- seventeen. Go in hand at the moment. Go. <laughs> Where does it go? Ah, was it six? That's six. That's fine. Okay, you, you make it over. You go hold of his tail. Can I climb on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna climb onto his tail. I'm gonna do the rope climbing kind of action. Okay, you know, you can put part way, part way along his tail, not too far, maybe about further way along his tail. Uh, oh shit! Fully aware it's got a dwarf hanging on the end of his tail now. Nothing to see here! Not, not even a dwarf on your tail! <laughs> He's climbing. It's okay. climbing, it's hard. As soon as you grab hold of its tail, the dragon whips its head round. Like, oh shit! As if it's chasing its own tail. Yeah? Yeah? It's, a it's, way now, to facing, hide. it's now facing the other group, <laughs> the other party. Yeah? Yeah. Distract it, please! <laughs> so is it is it facing us or is it facing. It's, it's facing, facing, it's facing Tannis. us. Tannis, Caramon, and uh, Rislan. Because I grabbed his tail. Yeah. Un- yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Are you going to chop down. the tail? No, he's holding she's on. He's climbing it. Oh, he's climbing it. I'm gonna chop it, but I'm gonna climb it first. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Is he? The dragon turns. The dragon turns around to see what is grabbed hold of its tail. As it turns around, it kind of like it, its tail follows the rest of its body, and Flynn gets dragged along through all this treasure. Oh, neat. <laughs> yeah. For the other yeah. the, the other group, all you all you do is you just see Flint. Just get whipped around by like getting dragged off by the on by the by go hold this dragon's tail and just gets dragged through all the treasure. There's coins and there's like various trinkets being smashed all over the place. Oh jeez. Yeah. Anybody else want to try anything or move into position? I move uh... closer to the door. BVS <laughs> wants to do that too. <laughs> what move close yeah, to the door? I'm... No, jump I'm... on the tail. I'm gonna move like slightly away from the door, just to put up, to to prepare myself with another arrow. Everybody's moving towards the doors. Caramel away. wants to try and get away on the dragon. The door, Whisper. Away from the door. In what direction? Um. Into we're the room. On the... Well, I'm with like the Gold Moon group, aren't I? So I would yeah. basically move them yeah, away from like towards the front of where the dragon was sleeping, and I'll, yeah. I'll then slowly come up. Towards yeah. The so, forward. so for me, I'd be slightly going towards the left. I would fall from the yeah. door. Okay. Yeah, slightly away from the door to the left. Okay. You see, Flint just get dragged along the floor in front of you. Are you serious? No. Yeah, just, 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 the, as the dragon turned around, because it's realised it's somebody got a hold of its tail, it, it's turned around, its whole body, and of course its tail's going to follow the rest of its body, so it's just dragged Flint all the way around the room, like, across, around the room, you see Flint just go So, is he distracted through. by trying to get Flint off his tail at the moment? At the moment, it's, it's got something on its tail, and it is now, just, it's completely enraged now. Right, so he's distracted at the moment, yes? Well, he knows how many people in the room, he knows what species are in the room, he knows it's under attack, so it's just going absolutely That's mental. That's not what I'm talking about. Lisa. It's not distracted, no. Okay. It would take an incredible amount of, like, stuff to distract a dragon. Dragons are notoriously famous for being, like, being on point. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to try attack it with my arrow. Is it like range first and all that first? It's maneuver magic. No. Move- it's magic range, magic. Uh, melee, and movement. Okay, so we're just on movement. That's why I moved to his tail. Okay, I move. I know I moved away. Yes. Is anybody from... else maneuvering? Anybody else moving in or out the room or trying anything mad? Cameron wanted to try to get on the dragon as well somehow. The dragon's facing Cameron. I don't know what he wants to do uh, other than that. Yeah, PDS <laughs> needs to, to make that call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he will wait his turn. 
Okay. <laughs> it may not turn away from you. It's just as soon as I like move away towards the left, away from the door, I'm getting my bow and arrow ready again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, magic attacks. I am going to summon a monster. What type of monster? Uh, whichever one you will allow me to, because it's a level 3 spell. And it's in tandem with my level. That's fine. Just like, was it just summon a monster? Uh, something that could possibly combat a dragon. Summon insects? No. No. No, no, no. That's a level 2 spell. This one's a level 3. It's summon monster summon level 1. Oh, monster summon. Okay. Does it have a list of the type of monsters you can summon? Monster no. summon 1. It says, within one round, the caster of this spell, the wizard magically conjures 2d4 first level monsters. Okay. Selected by the DM. The monsters appear in an area within the spell range. Could be anywhere in, anywhere in this room. Um, they attack the spell user's opponent to the best of their ability until either he commands them to stop the attack or the spell duration runs out. The duration is two rounds per level. So what level are you? Four? Five? Uh, so, so it's there for I'm... about ten, ten rounds. I'm level four. Uh, they, Eight simply rounds, just, they simply just vanish when they are slain. They don't. Uh, they don't stick around. They just disappear uh, when they are killed. Uh... <coughs> and if no no opponents exist by the end of the fight, then they simply can just disappear. Yep. So are they able to summon? Um, you can. Have you got any particular creatures in mind you want to summon? After level ones, there's four. From what I understand, you're the one who decides that. I just need to roll the die. Okay. The the D. I think it's D two. That's it. Four D four. No, two D four. Two D four. I think it's what it was. Um. Ooh. Okay. Roll two D four. Um. Yeah. It's two D four. Uh. Uh, D4 is looking like a pyramid if you're on the yeah. tabletop simulator. Okay. There you go. Okay, there's one. You just have to roll just that roll twice. Just roll that twice. Yeah, yeah. That one. yeah. Depending on the dice, it will either have the number at the top, which is the say one. another, or the That's number one. at the bottom. Roll again. Whoa. Five. Four. Okay. So five total. Rizland like kind of just like goes into a mesmeronic trance kind of thing, seems like muttering away to himself, and he does a little bit of hand gesturing in the air. Um, everybody's well in the room that that Rizland's going to be casting a spell. Not too sure what that spell is. Um, you you are uh, quite a kind of caught off guard. You're not completely surprised. You're not preoccupied, but you are caught off guard when you see five wolves. Five wolves appear. Um, Ooh, kind of, pack. yeah, like a small pack of wolves have appeared alongside Raceland. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. How can you control them? Yeah, you can tell them to attack, that's it. I mean, they don't go fetch, carry, pick up and all the rest of it, but they will attack. Okay, I just point at the, simply point at the dragon and say, attack. <clears throat> okay. You could do a little snarling, a lot of like, like you know, like hissing, growling, and all the rest of it. And then all five of them just dart straight towards the dragon. So would they have to roll like for attack and yeah, damage the, and such? The, yeah, when when they get to the dragon, they have the opportunity to attack. All five of them have the top, the, the the opportunity to attack. Uh, Any more magic? Spiritual hammer, go! <laughs> <laughs> I've been keeping track of all these spells. I am. Good. Uh, Spiritual Hammer. What level's up? Level two. (laughs) Level two. Level two. Level two. Range is ten yards per level. (laughs) This is Godmore, boys, now. (laughs) <laughs> Duration is three rounds 
other than angle, so it goes up to a total of eight lip, uh, eight rounds. Eight rounds, yep. Uh, combat attacks with a an additional strike of magic of this one. Uh, okay. The attack roll is one d four plus one. Yeah, uh, against man side. Echo of eighteen. Um, it's one d four upon any large attack. So you're using a spiritual hammer to <coughs> a large target, non man size target. Pardon me. What's your tackle? Eighteen. Eighteen. Eight. Okay. Eight. Oh, eight. eight? No, 18. Oh, 18. You got it right the first time when I said it. <laughs> oh, I was going to say 18. Okay. Roll. 13. 13 plus 5. That's 18. That's bang on 18. Oh. oh. 1d4 Woo. damage. 1d4 damage. Plus 1. <laughs> no. Plus 1 against man size. This is not man size. Oh, I did not. I thought it was on it's larger a, creatures. A, a, no. dragon, a dragon 1D4. is a large creature. So that's one point damage. Well done. It's okay. We will we will chip away at him. At least for damaging him this time. Okay. Anybody okay. else want to do any magical attacks? No. Um, no. Okay. Do you only get one magical attack per round? Yeah, you can't cast two spells at once. Oh. Yeah. No. no. Very very few people can actually actually cast like two spells at once. Okay. Um, okay, uh, this uh, dragon is uh, now going to because he, he's actually just turning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, he, he's kind of like he, he all the way from this. I'll do it in red. This area here, all the way around to this area here, he's doing an acid breath. To okay. who? To everybody in this area. Cameron's lot. Yeah, he's literally just so destroying the walls. And really that's the health of the dragon. Right? He's spraying our walls. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, he's spraying your walls. Yeah, he is turning round. So he is uh, he is turning. He has got a flint on his tail. Yay! So do we need to dodge the things on the walls if we're not touching them? No, there's no but there's nothing to hide behind on the walls. Right, but Oh you need to dodge his right, breath, dodge... yeah. So... Okay, so if he's spraying the walls and not us <laughs> Oh, he's going to hit everything in between you and the walls. Uh, between him and the walls, yeah, including you. Okay, so we all need to dodge. We all need to, um, yeah. So what's your armor class? Oh, four. except for me, because I'm on this tail, yay. <laughs> uh, my armor class is four. DVS is six. Okay, he's got a thackle of... <laughs> uh, five. Is that a different um, dragon breath from what he just used a second ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, this one's acid. He used poison before. Um, my armor class is five. My armor class is five. Mine is four. Do we need to roll if... No, it's okay. You all kind of hit the deck. You All of you just, just immediately know what's going to happen and you hit the deck and you just hear this vaporous acid just smashing at the walls behind you. Um, if there was any like torches that were burning on the walls behind you, they've just completely been extinguished and um, and um, disintegrated probably. Yeah, just 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 like they're just like bubbling piles of like dripping wood at the moment. Mhm. Mm okay. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you've you've all kind of like just whoa, just ducked. Out the way, and out then the just, way. like the fire extinguisher has just gone all the way around, the, like on the outside of the room, just gone all the way along the walls. Okay. Okay. Um, any <laughs> missile attacks? Yep. I'm gonna roll um, with my arrow. Roll. Natural 20. Natural 20, so I hit. Ooh! And that's a crit too, isn't it? Yeah, it would mean, it would mean double the dice, wouldn't it? Double dice, double dice damage. 
With that mean it's a... So does that double. mean I roll the dice twice or whatever I roll is doubled? Yes. Whatever you roll is doubled. It's a crit roll! Six. Six damage! I'll take it. I wish Woo! it was more, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So what did you- so what did you roll? Three. I rolled three. a twenty and a three. You rolled a three, so double a- yeah, six. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is still a really enraged, like, pretty fairly healthy dragon. I'm going to try and shoot next. And okay. after that, I'll be tassel. Yeah, so I'm rolling now. Nineteen. <laughs> okay, that's well over. Seriously? Yep. I needed a sixteen. Okay, that's uh, that arrow has just gone sailing through the air. Yeah, I wish it was one more for you, Jade. We could have used another crit. <laughs> I really want a critical right now. Not a critical failure, but a critical hit. No, that arrow just went sailing uh, through the air. Literally sailing uh, through the air. Tassel has 18 on the sling. That's way too high. Edge. Yep. <laughs> it's 18. Yeah. Oh, he's, got an 18. he's got a thacko of 18. Yeah, it's 18 and then you have yeah, to add yeah. the 5s. Then minus whatever the Roll dragon. the dice and just add 5 to it. Roll the dice and add 5 to it. The, the, the armor cost okay. of the dragon's 5. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's minus 5, so... That's 4, that's okay, that's good enough. That hits! <laughs> Alright, um... It like rolled over 22, I was like... Mm. <laughs> What's the damage for a rock? Um, a damage on a large creature, 1d4. <laughs> wow, come on. Oh god, 1d4. Where's that d4 at? There it is. I have a sling as well. I can throw One. a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, wouldn't it's, I wouldn't advise it. There's like little I... arrows. Of, like it's just you're just hitting it for like ones and twos here. It's like arrows sticking out of it. Arrows flying past it, and then it just, it just Taslov just goes up to it, just uh, spins around with his hoopback stick, and just launches a brick at it, slugs it in the side of its head. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon's just like blinks for a couple of times, and then and, and then. Or, like looks directly towards Tasselhoff. Hi. <laughs> I have a question because this is obviously the range round. Am I able to bring my sling out and also throw a rock at it? <laughs> if you if you want to change weapon, I'll take you around to actually pr like change your weapon. Now. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a weapon; it's a sling. <laughs> it's a sling. Wow, you have a sling. You have to I take have it a sling. Out. That I throw. Like, yeah, you take it. Oh, take neat. it out. Open your pouch. <laughs> take out a stone. Load it, and then fire it. Yeah. Yeah, I won't do that then. <laughs> okay, so the dragon is now like kind of like like just 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 stops, blinks a couple of times, and then just go like looks straight at Tasselhoff. Hi. <laughs> Okay. He angry. Is that all the missile ones? I think that uh, unless T does Tika have any missile. No, Tika's keeping her head down. I don't down. think. No. All right. He's keeping and that's all missile. Yeah. Uh, melee attack. Okay, Jai, your wolves. Yes. Your wolves have a tackle. Oh, of... she does. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? I can locate animals now. <laughs> They're in front of me. No, she doesn't. No. Roll dice, Jai. Hold on. Which oh. one do you need me to bring? D20. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Again? Yeah, again. Go on. Okay. Again? Yeah. You got five wolves. No, four. Is it four wolves? Five wolves. I thought it was five. Five wolves, yeah. And again. Yeah, it's five. Shit, shit, shit. One more time. One more. One more time. Seven. Oh, that was a drop. <laughs> Yeah, it's a 10, so keep doing that. Okay, alright. It um, can't roll. 
two, the two of them have managed to make actually like make an attack on the a bite attack on the dragon. Yeah. Yep. They try to make a, they're trying to make their way around to the the hind legs of the dragon, they're trying to attack the hind legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two, of them, two of them have managed to make it there. Um, the the other three seem to be like scampering around either in front of it or underneath it or just running around it, just like like snarling and barking, and, like like trying to make bites. Wait, how, how many did Jai summon? Five. Three or five. 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 Did you roll five times? Yes. Yeah, you rolled five times. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah, two of them have made an attack. Okay, these are just straightforward, simple wolves. Uh, they do 1d4 plus 1 damage. Jai. Yep, following. Alright, oh, okay. Uh, I just. D d are they looking at me after this? Because if not, I'm. No, you need to roll for their damage. Roll for the damage. Oh. They're attacking the, they're oh, attacking the back legs. Yeah, they're attacking the back legs of the dragon. Uh, which one do you want me to the, roll? The triangle. The triangle one. Roll it twice. It's a four. Four. Okay. Another one. Two. Five, six. Two. So that's eight points damage. Yay! Eight points damage. Okay, the two they got two wolves kind of like trying to take bites out of the hind legs of the dragon at the moment. <laughs> anybody, else, anybody else? So Flint, you are still holding on to its tail, being dragged around through all this gold. You've been rolled around as well, and like like you're on your back half the time, you're on your front half the time. Yeah. Probably hear Flint echoing like ah, uh, uh, kind of like. Ugh. Your body From seems all to, yeah, your body seems to be scraping against gold coins and silver coins and things like that. Yeah. Uh, I want to get higher on his tail. You get higher on his so, tail? Yeah. Maybe I'll chop along the way, you know, like <laughs> Use the axe as like a climbing thing, you know, you're yeah, digging in like you went like, up a, a mountain like, sort of thing. Stab. Stab. Pull, stab, pull, stab. Yeah, basically. What's your dexterity? My dex. Oh shit. Ten. <laughs> Alright, ten or less. <laughs> praise be, praise be, praise be, praise be. Two! Two, oh yeah. I get you managed, you managed to make your way along the, the tail. A little bit further along the tail. About falling <laughs> off. <laughs> nice. Do I get little stabs along the way as I'm climbing? Well, you, because I have the axe with me. You got a couple of little stabs, but it's not making much of a difference. You haven't got the. the okay. The, 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 you haven't got the, 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 the. You're trying to like hold on, and you haven't because you're holding on um, to this tail while thrashing around and being they've been rubbed up against stuff, much of the treasure and all the rest of it. You haven't got the momentum of being able to actually do a, a committing a swing in your axe. Yeah, I need to get higher. <laughs> That's all I've done. <laughs> there you go. Okay, everybody in the room can just see Flint like like just being whipped around this room and not refusing to let go of the dragon's tail. Um, I've got like, you, dragon! Like he's going to have a hard time actually doing any damage while he's holding on then, or while, while he's on the dragon. Like, does it look like the dragon's not going to stop still enough for him to the grab a hold? Or? The dragon's got no intention of standing still. The dragon does just okay. stand still nope, and then move its head, head from left That's to That's why I need to climb up. It, 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 it's, I, I can sort that out next round. Yeah, it, it, it moves around real quick. Ooh. It can change direction as well. So, so Flint is like holding on, like not. It's like like playing Bookaroo with a dragon. Yeah. Bookaroo. Yeah. He's, he's, I got gotcha, your dragon tail. He's, he's doing a, a, a perfect impression of a dwarf rodeo player at the moment. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Well, this tail's it's going up I'll and down. This, 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 this dragon's tail's going up and it's coming down heavy <laughs> in the gold, and he's like, like, in, and then it's going like left, and then it's being whiplashed back right again. And you, know, you see, he's just Flint's just like still holding on to his tail. I'm holding to the last. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that too. Anybody else doing any um, uh, melee attacks? No. Anybody doing any maneuvering? Anybody when you get into different positions or anything like that? Hang on, what was BBS doing? Where's the tail? Where's the oh, BBS wants to know. Oh, Drax, uh, BBS wants, wants to attack. attack. Okay, BBS, yeah. you can attack. I think he wants to know roughly if he can get on the back as well, if he knows where the tail is. 
the, the, the tail at the moment is it is still facing to it's it's more or less facing towards Raceland. Uh, it's facing facing towards Tasloff. It's actually facing towards Tasloff. So the tail is like towards in the general direction of Tanis. Tanis is red. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's facing Tasloff the other side of the road. Uh, yeah, road it's, it's still it's it's kind of to mid like. It's, you attack it if you can. Okay. Uh, what's your thaco? Caramon's thaco. For what weapon are you using? Thirteen. Okay. Um, Thirteen or less, but you got to add five to it. <clears throat> that's a fifteen, so that's well over. Miss. That's a miss. Okay. What's going to miss? My computer froze. Alright. Caramon tried. Caramon goes over to try and take a swing. At the the dragon's tail, um, as it goes past, and just hesitantly, just waits an extra second or so, because you also can see Flint just being dragged through all the gold as well. Wasn't too sure if he wanted. Imagine to take a swing. I managed to stay on the tail, and I'm still climbing. I'm, I'm further up. Yeah, he's, Flint's been whipped around like some crazy. He's like up in the air, then down again. It's like he's wrestling an octopus. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, guys, that I dropped out. My PC froze. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Okay, anybody, any anybody doing any manoeuvring? The wolves are still, like, kind of, like, like, we're getting ready just to pounce on this dragon. Yeah, and the wolf did eight points of dra damage. Yeah, they're attacking awesome. the hind legs. They have to go for the hind legs of the, of the dragon. Two of them are going, trying to take the dragon down from behind. Honestly, my P. I'm sorry to like to be out of it at the moment, but for some odd reason, my PC has been doing it twice yesterday <clears> and twice today, freezing up. It shouldn't do that. Um, I'm going to move myself just a little bit further towards a wall. Like, not like back up against it or anything like that, just kind of a little bit. Hmm. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just so that there's a little bit more space between me and the dragon. That's a lot of space, but there's enough space in this place to, to put you probably about maybe 50 to 20 feet between you and the dragon, but it's not a lot of space. Thank you. I'd just like to take that little bit more of a. <sighs> anybody else take any maneuvers? Anybody leaving? Or anybody trying to run away? or Still climbing. Can I have a, like, uh, an idea where those um, items are that I'm looking for again? I, uh, can I get to them? Are they reasonably accessible, or am I still like looking at them behind the dragon? Um, has, he, has he knocked them over any further? Has he done? The, 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 kind of like all all of the 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 the, the, the feet pummeling kind of thing, you know, because he stompeded uh, much of the treasure pile. So the, you lose track of them for a second, and you see him again. Um, and they are um, they're, they're near a near a couple of the wolves. Okay, I mean, how close is that to him then? Like... Oh yeah, pretty pr right, right next to him, like about five feet from him. Okay, I do, I, that's my main focus is just, just trying to keep an eye on where they are. About oh, five feet. Okay, I'm not moving. Then I'll stay where I am. Okay, anybody else maneuvering? No. I'm still climbing. So I'm still holding on and, to your life. And and Bevius did say that he was gonna look for a spear on the ground if while he's Okay, he's searching. What does right. he have to roll for search? Uh, a uh, spear. For a spear? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no spears. Caravan doesn't see any spears. Um, spears. Caravan doesn't see any spears on the floor. Okay. That's Any, it. Anybody doing any magic? Magic. I thought um, I know it wasn't a natural 20. I just picked up the movie previous. I'm going to do a spell. Uh, a spell? Yeah, spell. Um, I'm just choosing which one would probably be the best one. Have you got anything that can actually hold the dragon left? down? I, 
Well, I don't have any spells in level 3, but I have 2 in level 2 and 3 in level 1. The whole person spell D, which is a, a, a mismatch. Yeah, I looked at that, but it's, it's only for small humanoid things. I can't do a dragon with it. Yeah, I well, I'm assuming mines will be the same idea, but it's my level 3 and I've already used my level 3 bringing the rules on set. Wow. So I am going to. I'm going to cast blindness on the dragon itself. Okay. So it's and I will cast remove blindness now, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a level 3 spell. Uh, level 2 spell, sorry. Okay, Rissman goes through the motions of being able to cast a blindness on the dragon. And... I can smell us. Yeah, and he, you, by the way. He good senses. Oh dear. Sorry, what? Did you say Wesper? I said, and he, you as well. You can smell you and he, you. The dragon. I mean, I can deal with the hearing. Um, hearing. The yeah. hearing. <laughs> I, 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 can, I can make him so he can't hear it, I think, but... I can't do the smell. Can't do the smell. Right. It's going to still have to smell us, but at the same time, it's like... And any spells he might have that are line of sight that require visualization would be diminished. Yeah, if yes. he has any. I mean, he did run away last time we blinded him. We didn't. No, that's the thing. He didn't run away. We ran away through the door, remember? <laughs> didn't he fly down a well or something? After we got through the door. Yeah. So he technically still ran when he was blinded. He didn't have to run, he knew and where we he were. Was... He knew where we were going to by going through the door. Oh, screw it. I'm casting blindness. It's... Do it! Yeah! Right. Okay, casting blindness. This this dragon now, like, who's thrashing and beating around and, 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 and just blinked his eyes and just looking at Tasselhoff and Tasselhoff just looking back at this dragon. Um, like, just, just literally doing a stare out of a dragon. Yeah. The um, wrestling cast a spell, and the um, and and the dragon, the blindness on the dragon takes effect almost immediately. The dragon is completely enraged now. He can no longer see uh, Tasseloff. In fact, he can't see anything in the entire room. Yeah. You can't see what in the what, room? What? The dragon, the dragon, can't, dragon can't see anything in the room, and he can't. He's no oh. longer. He's no longer looking at at at, um, at Tasselhoff. Okay, cool. I will also cast silence on him. Silence fifteen radius. Okay. Uh, this. Let uh, uh, me look. Here it is. It is a hundred and twenty yards. So I should be able to get it with. Oh yeah, you get him, you get him. It is a 15 foot radius sphere. There is no saving throw for it. Yeah. What level is it? It is a level 2. Okay. Yay! Silence. Uh, I'm just going to check and see what it does. What it does... Podcast spells complete. Oh, are you going to read it? Completely silences the area, and if he tries to mouth a spell, he can't. Nothing will work. If, it's, if the verbal spell has to be spoken, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, completely silence in his area. Radiant, silence radiance. Okay. Upon casting the spell, complete silence prevails in the area of effect. All sound is stopped. Conversation is impossible. Spells cannot be cast, or at least not with those with verbal components within them. Uh, and no noise whatsoever issue from the area where the spells can. Okay, so you casting it around the dragon? Yes. Okay, you cast it around the dragon. The dragon can, um, is it, so as long as he stays within that actual that sphere of 15 feet of rough silence, he can't hear anything. Yeah? He the can't thing, plant it on his head. The only thing, yeah, the only thing he can hear is the wolves gnawing at his legs. But he that shouldn't be able to hear that either. He shouldn't be able to hear those. He in can feel the, it. In the, yeah, he can feel it, but he shouldn't be able to hear anything in his yeah, area. Yeah, he can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if he does any like if he does any spells, he has to say the word. It doesn't take any effect. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sorry, that's me done. <laughs> okay, dragon's, get, dragon's getting absolutely like really really upset now. 
Oh, we're, we're if he burning for our spells. <laughs> okay. Well, boo him for him because he's blinded and he can't hear anything either. Okay, he just goes for a one off kind of like um, uh, acid breath. I have a quick question because I've got my spiritual hammer up. Okay. Does that get attack or do I have to use my uh, turn to do that? I can't remember. You, 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 you can control if you want to control it. Right. Uh, I mean, that, that, because I've done that spell, do I get to hit as well? No. So I, it's either one or the other, isn't it's it? One really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah, it's concentration. Yeah. You can maintain yeah. concentration and control the spiritual hammer. Or you can just have like put the spiritual hammer on hold and do and cast as another spell if you wish to. Like yeah. if you need cool. to heal emergency do some emergency healing or first aid, then you'll have to put the spiritual attack on hold. No worries. Okay. Uh right. Uh, okay, um, where's my list? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Oh. D10. Yeah. One D10. Going from top to bottom, I randomly pick somebody who's going to get acid breath. Okay. Okay. If it's a one or a two, no, sorry. If it's a, if it's a two. Yeah? Mm. Or, if, or if it's somebody outside the room, it could be the one of the wolves. Is it okay? If it's a one or a two, okay. it's one of the wolves. Alright? Mm hmm. Oh. Gold moon. Yeah. Dragon is just. just. just, just knowing, knowing that it, 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 its last sense has actually got his smell. Yeah? Yeah, actually, well, my last ten charges on my staff. Dragon breath again. <laughs> you can do a seven throw if you wish. So do I get to like, I get to activate the stuff? It doesn't just automatically do it then. You can activate I, the if staff. I, if I don't want to, do... oh, okay, cool. You can I'll activate the, the staff first. You want to activate? Oh, do seven throw. Do a seven throw. Wait, yeah. isn't his charges gone though? Nope. No, you're not quite. No, not it's quite. not automatic. So let let him see if he can save it first. Okay. What's your seven throw? That should be enough. Uh, breath was fifteen. Yeah, you're fine. Yay! I don't have to use my last ten charges. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dragon just lets rip with a whole load of like um, of acid vapor kind of thing. It's more vapor than actual like like liquid acid. Mm. Um, and you see it, um, gold moon just enveloped in a kind of like a, a green mist. Um, it, it, it's it's more stench ridden than actual like any kind of chemical effect. Gold Moon seems to have uh, seems to have survived it. Oh, now that's not playing uh, ball, is it? That scared Riverwind a bit. That scared Riverwind a bit, and he's ready to fire another arrow at the dragon. All right. Well, we should be on movement phase now. Mm-hmm. No missile. So no missile. No missile. Well, missile is because it's magic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mag magic oh. missile. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you, want to <laughs> if you would like to go ahead and roll then, Jade, for your arrow. So I have to get lower than 16. Fuck! <laughs> yep. Roll a 19 again. No, 17. No, 17. <laughs> oh my god. 17. <laughs> arrow going flying oh, through the air. Oh, come on. River, River Wind is getting pissed right now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so yeah. now it's my turn to roll. Roll. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Eleven. Eleven. Ooh, eleven plus five is sixteen. Who, who just who just moved my dice? Got, you got eleven. Eleven plus five, sixteen. Taco. Taco. What's your taco? Fifteen. Oh. Ah, you just missed. Two arrows just go flying through the air. Um, even though this this dragon is like blind and kind of like in kind of a small containment of silence, it's it it, it can still um, anticipate that through scent and through movement. Um, <coughs> well, I hate this right now. Yeah, arrow, you're not the only one here. So you're good. Flying through the air. Okay. So incidentally, yeah, yeah. like uh, like we got Tannis on one side who's firing in this direction. We got. Uh, Riverwind on this side, who seems to be firing back at Tannis. <laughs> and and, 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 and Tasselhoff will throw another rock. There he goes. 
go. Back to 18. How many rocks has he got? I don't know. There, there's infinite pebbles and stuff around the room. Uh, no 12. 12 uh, okay. Plus 5. 13, 14, 14. 17? Under 18. That's okay. 17 is under 18? You hit. Yeah, okay, so another rock, you just see another pebble just bounce off the... It, it seems to hit the uh, the dragon squarely in the nose. Two points of damage! Wow. <laughs> I'm chipping away! This dragon's just getting really enraged now. Wait, I just remember something. Isn't Tika doing anything at the moment? Has Tika's no ranged no weapons. weapons. Tika has no ranged weapons, and Tika is not going to go after a dragon. Tika is a little scared right now, and she's basically just trying to not die. Not die. Oh, bless her. Um, actually, I actually have something for Tika to do once we get into movement range, so. Alrighty. Because I'm controlling her, I believe. Okay, um, missile's done. Uh, melee attack. Jai? Uh, oh, sorry. You wolves. I'm reading up on spells here. Um, big dice or small dice? Uh, big dice. Big dice. Roll for all five. One. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. I'm gonna have to be switching to my, um, sling soon. Yeah. Now, my, my spells. <laughs> That's a twenty. Okay. Natural twenty! Oh, so... Twelve. Go on. That was three, right? Yeah, yeah three. two more. Oh, three. It's not... Thirteen. Right, I'm flicking this. Two twenties. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Friggin' wolves are doing all the damage. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're attacking as a pack, so they're doing... Yeah, they're, they're attacking... They're actually, the wolves are attacking more coordinated than what you are. <laughs> coordinate. What are you on about? We pinched it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on the tail, damn it! I'm gonna do mass damage. You'll see. Is this smaller one? Now? I have a question. Yeah. yeah. They have a question. I, I've not been playing Tika this whole time. Does Tika know what the discs look like, and or that we are looking for them? No. Oh god, I hope so. I pointed it out for the entire group to see. Who ever looked at me? So she's on my okay. side. She's oh, got no. on so, 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 the Gold, yeah. Goldman, yeah. Goldman said those things there. We need them. Yeah, well, but I, I, I sort of did it mouthing, not, not actually physically as well. Okay, so I'm going to pretend Tika saw that. Yeah, Tim, I um, hope so. Tika, Tika the, the party, that the people that are on this side of the room saw it. That's a sliding die, okay, cool. So, so, did t so yeah, Tika, yeah, Tika being on it. the same side as the room as Goldmoon saw it? Yes. 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 That'd be good. I've given you the best possible chance to get them now as well, because if I the things in the silence area in these kind of so you know right. we've, we've got so, a good chance of them. You let me know when we get to movement phase, I will be right back. Okay. Oh <laughs> neat! Uh, I just realized the ammunition box is next to stone shot. Yeah. I have a special attack, uh, Tuswolf has a special attack. Stone shot. What stone shot, go! Yeah, yeah that, that's the stuff he's throwing at the dragon at the moment. So he's d he's done it three times, right? Yeah, he's done it three yes. times. He's hit them three times as well. Two times on the side of the head, and one right on the nose. <laughs> did you see all the numbers that I rolled there? Was yeah, he did ten points damage. Mm -hmm. Well, the wolves did. You didn't. The wolves did. It's still good. <laughs> it's like nearly below halfway. Maybe okay. wolves are keeping us. Uh, before that happens, the. What are the wolves doing? I want to be proud of my wolves. Okay. The dra the dragon, um, who's been attacked by the hind legs, takes a step backwards. Yeah? Shit, he's going to step on one of them. Yeah, and crushes one of the, do one of the, the, one of the wolves. Fucking <laughs> really. Oh no, there's no sound, is there? <laughs> <laughs> there's no sound, you don't hear it, you don't hear you it. You see the marks of the, the, the book of... And poof. <laughs> just, yeah, there's, there's no body or anything like that, he just, 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 just literally just takes a step back and just stands on one of the wolves, and the, they just, 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 you just see the wolf just disappear under this huge black foot. 
bastard. Killed me wolf. <laughs> well, I don't like that one. It was John. No, that was Jim. Oh, was it? Oh, Jim. Sorry. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he is now. Right. Nurse on the live stream, you get um, 100 internet points if you know what the movie reference is there. Also, if you get that movie reference, you're old. <laughs> yeah, we can't. <laughs> I can't give her anymore. So, um, yeah, when the wolves have just been been trodden off, the the dragon just like did <laughs> did a backup kind of thing, just backed up his body a bit, and uh, just just literally just just crushed uh, one of the wolves on the foot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, Flint, you on the tail still? Yes. What are you doing? Munching, no climbing. Okay, dexterity roll. And stabbing every little way, but. What's your dexterity? Please, please, please! Oh, it's a 10! But it's 19! <laughs> Can I stab him before I go, please? Can you be just. Can you be a stab him before I go? Well, I've been stabbing every time I've been going up, but dragon. apparently I didn't do anything. Yeah, it's, 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 the, the dragon's change direction just seems to like just be getting a bit of whiplash at the moment. Yeah. Mhm. It turned in. The, it's turned like in a counterclockwise direction. Yeah. Yes. Right. Um. Gold moon. Not so much Tasseloff, because Tasseloff is fairly small, but Gold Moon and Riverwind have to do a dexterity check. Dexterity yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll your dexterity oh. score or less, or get wiped out by Flint. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shitting me right now? No. No, no, no. Oh my god. So, we have to get, oh, what, so that's a dexterity check? Yeah, I, w yeah. I, I got it. Okay. Yeah. My dex is 16, so okay, what do I 16 need to less. That? 16 or less. 16 or less. On yeah. Four. Okay. Both of you again. Both of you kind of just duck as you see Flint come racing past, like at, at about six feet off the deck. Yeah, still holding onto the tail. Still, he's still holding onto the tail. Yeah, but you just see Flint go flying through the air. Yeah, still, still, you still got hold of the tail. Still got hold of the tail. But he, I just can't climb. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't climb on this turn because the dragon is literally just like losing. Yeah, Riverwind, Riverwind is like, what the fuck is that little fella doing? Causing, causing Goldmoon and Riverwind just to duck for a second as Flint just goes whizzing past over their heads by about two foot clearance. Oh, phew. <laughs> yeah, and Riverwind just like, like spoke up saying, what the fuck is that little fella doing? Okay. <laughs> Oh no! Okay. <laughs> uh, movement phase. Okay. Bevius still wants to try to see about the tail because it's facing them, right? He wants to do something about a cannonball. No. He still needs to attack. Bevius wants to attack it. for melee. Yeah. Whisper. We're still in, we're still on BVS whisper. We're not on movement phase. Whisper! Did he disconnect? Movement phase. Oh, no. ran away. No, 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 I just had to disappear for a second there. Okay, it's so we're, yes, we're not on movement. Yeah, yeah movement, yes. No, yeah, we're, not, we're, not, we're not on movement. BBS is still need to oh, attack. BBS, BBS, what are you doing? You're attacking. Yes. Okay. Tail. Attacking the tail. tail, maybe. Okay. Um, what's your tackle? Or was it 16 or something? 13. Oh, 15. 13. Okay, 13. Roll. Roll dice. That's way too high. Oh, 13? Yeah, it's way too high. <laughs> no! You want single figure? Yeah, you, 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 you got. You, yeah. It was quite close. 
Yeah, it was close. It was close. I'm trying to attack the tail, um, but uh, the tail just 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 moves out of reach. Again, you see Flint holding on for dear life, just go sailing through the air kind of thing, still hold on to the tail, about two foot above everybody else's head, everybody else is just forcing the taller members of the party on that far side of the room, just duck for a second. As Flint goes sailing through the head. <laughs> it just, just goes sailing round. Okay. Are, are we officially on movement now? On yeah, movement yes. now, yeah. Alright, so Tika... Tika is going to go for the discs. Okay. Since he cannot see and he cannot hear, does she need to roll a sneaking roll? Um, Probably, because he can smell still. He can smell still, yeah. Um, if, Tika can do a dexterity check, but she gets a 10 bonus. She gets a 10 bonus? Okay. What, what's, a, what's, a, what's a dexterity? Look at it. I can't believe how many spells I've burnt through. I can't believe that it's killed one of my wolves. Take your dexterity. I think it was. Well, let's have a look. I think about 16. I'm sorry. It's I'm I'm a lot slower than you are because I I'm running so many different things on my computer at the moment. All right. Okay, so if you can roll higher than six. Higher? Yeah, higher than six. I thought we were still doing lowers. Okay, lower than 16. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Okay, she goes. She goes for the discs of Mishkel. Yeah. Okay. Tika, Tika's making a scramble across the uh, the pile of coinage, trying to dodge wolves, dragon wings, flint, and various other things that seem to be just like spinning around the place. Um, and she makes her way to, and she gets as far as the discs. You see, you dig around in the in the in the coinage, like just to, mm -hmm. just to release them a bit. You can see it, and she's like. Um, she, she's got hold of it now. It's got handles at both ends of this disc. Like, this, this, like column yes. of, of slides kind of thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got handles at both ends and she's got hold of both the handles. Okay. Alright, and then it's another turn for her to bring them back, obviously. Does it look like she can actually lift them? I mean, yeah, I just heard him go, so hang on, wait for that. She should be able to lift them. It's not like they're heavy. Wow. Yeah, see, I just don't know, because I thought they were quite heavy, because they were the size of them. I thought I thought they were two-man person to move. Whisper? Sure, but he's just be able to quickly. I might be wrong, it might just look heavy. From what I just, what he described, I thought it just were going to be a bit heavy. I, I think it just looks heavy, because your character's supposed to be able to trot these things around everywhere. Oh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, maybe. Okay, tika has got the discs. And Tika mm -hmm. lift the discs, because Lee is concerned it takes two people. No, it doesn't take two people to carry the discs, oh. no. They just, um, it, it's more, it's, 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 it's <clears throat> similar in size and in weight to one of Rislin's giant tombs of, like, knowledge. Okay. So she should be good. She should be okay, yeah. She can't combat, she can't fight while carrying the discs. That's why she, that's Not that fine. she wants to right now, she's just mostly concerned about getting them back to... So Tika, um, she takes in the opportunity. She scrambled over. She climbed up all the all the coinage. She's dodged a couple of wolves, and um, a few giant like um, dragon feet that seem to be stomping around. A flint going over the top of her head. <laughs> yeah, and she's 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 found the discs. She's found one handle of the discs, and she's pulling at them. And she pulls it out, and she's removing some of the coins that seem like the coinage that seems to be like got it trapped in there in the big giant pile of treasure. She's digging it out. And then she, she's got her hands underneath it now, and she's like lifting it up. And now she's trying to get it slowly back to the uh, to where you use her at. Need. Okay. Yeah. Is that all movement? Can I ask? Oh, 
before mm-hmm. we do much more of the movement, because I, I'd possibly like to make a move. Which one is closer to me, um, Tannis or Riverwind? Like, uh, who's the... Tannis would be closer to you. Riverwind's uh, on my side. No, yeah, Tannis Tan- is oh, closer yeah. to you, Hunk. Right. I'm, I'm okay, the red. I'm going yeah. to make a move towards Tannis. Yeah, you can move towards Tannis. Caramon's between you and Tannis. Okay, well, I run towards Tannis. Okay. Well, run. <laughs> well, well, I don't, I don't know specifically how far off you are from me. From, Not that like, far. Probably fifteen, fifteen, twenty you, feet. You, you probably just like jog over to me. Okay. Well, in that case, I come over towards um, Anis, and when the spell level is up, I've got a nice one for him. Okay. Um, BVS is using his movement phase to see if he can find a spear. Okay. Does he... Okay, and we are rolling. And we hit a three. You can see that there is something long pole like. Um, but it, it's more further towards where Gold Moon's at. I think I know what he's up to. Um... Well, I don't suppose it's anything he can point or shout out to me and then I can chat to him or anything like that, is it? Because I haven't yet. BVS would like to know if, since all he did was look, if he can now move towards it. Yeah, he can make his way towards it. He'll have to skirt around the the, the, the perimeter of the room and make his way towards it. Okay. Well, he just did that. Okay. Alright. Okay, magic phase. Magic phase. Sorry, how quick is how close oh. that spear to me? Like you were saying, it's on my side. Is it something that I can chuck to? Obviously, I know I, I, he's not looking for one yet. But if he shouts to me, pass me that spear. Can I chuck it to him? And I think whispers to BRB because it's gone very quiet. I think he has as well. Yeah. <laughs> Great talk. Um, right. Before we just any further, can I ask the, this as an acid type dragon? Okay, well, he seems to be acid and poison, hun. Yeah, acid poison. Okay. Okay, are acid, you... I'm not entirely sure it would work against an acid type because it's also an acid type spell. Well, let's yeah, work yeah. on one problem slash question at a time. Whisper, are you back? I'm back. Okay, Lee had a question for you. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you were saying the spear is closer to gold. Now, if... Um, Cameron shouts to Gold Moon. Can she grab the spear and chuck it to him to save him going the full distance? Or because I've not moved yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's so big. Yes, it's up to you if you want to shout to me about the spear, and then I can see it and then move towards it for you. And hope if I can get to it because it's closer to me or not. Did you hear about the spear? It's not really a spear. I'd say you just see a pole sticking out of like the treasure. Oh, okay, well, I go over and try to throw it towards him. Okay, um, it, it, it's uh, kind of like, it's like a pole arm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you pull it hey, out. wouldn't I be good at throwing? Probably, but it's closer to me, so... It's not that far, it's only about 20 feet or so to where Caramon's at. It's not, you don't have to throw, like, hundreds of feet. Um, you pull it out, it's a pole arm, it looks like it's a wooden one, it's got some kind of a gold rope wrapped around the centre of it. Um, like it's a hand grip kind of thing. You pull it out and you toss it towards Caramon. Here, take it! Yeah. Thanks! Okay. <laughs> Gertie. <laughs> Gertie, okay. Grazie! Okay, so spells. Anybody doing any spells? Well, with this being an acid, acid-ish spitting dragon, do we think an acid arrow would do anything to it? Probably not, because it, it has acid yeah, inside. Yeah, I, I would, I wouldn't think so, because if you try to do acid on a, like a type of acidic or poisonous right. dragon, it'd probably be hard. Hmm. 
No, I just wanted to double check the what the dragon is. Um, so I am going to cast. It's a black dragon. Yeah, which is resistant to. Whisper. Ma. What's the kind of resistance to a dragon? It's like poison and acid, isn't it? It has its resistance. Yeah, it has. It has. It has. It it, it, it breathes um, poison, uh, like um, acid. Uh, vapor, like an acid breath, um, which can be poisonous at times. Yes, but uh, so it's an acidic type of dragon. Yes, yeah, so, acid-based dragon. So, like any acidic attacks that we try to do, would that be half by half, or wouldn't affect it at all? No effect. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with a simple classic spell that I used once before. Summon Swarm. Summon a Swarm, okay. Is that that bug thing? Yep. Ah, okay. Okay. Level 2 spell. Level 2 spell, yep. Uh, anything you need me to roll or anything? Uh, what type of swarm does I do? I have to pick this to pull swarm. Um, hmm, this is going to be an interesting one. Swarm, summon swarm. Swarm of killer insects. Summon swarm, okay. The swarm, oh, I have to, you have to roll. What do you want me to roll? 2d10s. Okay. Go. Um, three, seven, okay. Two! Okay. Um, seventy-six. Seventy-six. Yeah. Roll D four. Uh, the blue. The blue one. The pyramid one. Yeah. Four. Four. What's your, your level? Level five, aren't you? Uh, level four. Are oh, you level four? Okay, so that's eight points damage. You, you, again, not too sure what the, what uh, Rislin's doing. The room seems to fill with bats. Just these bats seem to just like materialize out of thin air and seem to be swarming around. And and several of them are landing on the um, on the wings of the dragon. Um, like and, and biting and clawing into into the the membrane of the dragon's wings. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so like trying to pierce holes in them so it can't fly. Not so much. Not just kind of fly, but just the, the, these are not massive bats. They're just very small bats. I, I I know I know, but I think I get the gist of what they're trying to do. So. Yeah, they just they're just tearing into it. I want to attack your blood. There me. <laughs> Forty-two. Yeah. 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 Okay. Spiritual uh, hammer, go. Flint, spiritual you're holding hammer. on to you, you're holding on to this tail now. Um, he just... says about spiritual hammer. Oh, it's spiritual so, hammer. You, you've been you've been hit by a swarm. So hang on. No, no, no. I'm oh. Good. Yeah. I get hit by swarm. Yeah. Oh no. You, Shush, you, you, sorry. You, <laughs> you, 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 you have, you have hold of the dragon. You are currently attached to the dragon, which has got hit by the swarm, which means that you are definitely in the way. Yeah, more mm -hmm. or less. So I get eight points of damage. No, right, you get no, whatever is well. Hang on. Uh, I get one. You get five points of damage. Five points of damage. You yeah, live. Because it's live. Uh, one, uh, one plus um, plus resonance level. Five points Sorry. Down. Hey, thirty-five points. <laughs> uh, Get them to me, and I can heal you. Okay. Yeah, you may want to drop off a dragon because this... can see the, 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 this. I want to chop him first before. I drop. This dragon's getting like really, really upset now. It's going to have maybe one or two attacks, and then it's going to do something really disastrous. You can tell because it's just getting uh, annoyed. Well, it's just getting well, really annoyed now. If, if um, PBS is planning what I think he is, then I would suggest that he drop off the dragon as soon Flint, as you're uh, able. Well, at the moment, Flint has like he's holding on to the dragon. He's got a bat that's stuck in his beard. <laughs> Well, if wouldn't hear any I have to know. Get off your blood sucker! 
back right now. Attack the dragon, not me! <laughs> what the bloody fuck? Bite it, it's a good meal. <laughs> anyway, the blood's not yours. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we're still in magic mode. Spiritual hammer! Spiritual hammer, yes. So, do I I have to roll d20 to hit again? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 go on. What's the tackle for it? I think that's too high anyway. Uh, so I rolled a 13. What's the tackle? 18. You just got 18 then. Like, ooh, you just 18. got 18. Oh, you just got 18, yeah. So you just, just yeah. barely see the hit. That's what happened last time. <laughs> just barely hit it, yeah. Roll for damage, whatever it is. Is it D4? Yep. One point. One. Yeah! Of course! Chip it away! We're not gonna be able to beat this dragon at all in this race. Well, I'm not I'm the not one who's meant to do damage, yeah? I know, but still. We're, 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 doing, we're doing our best to try to hit Jade. And one of the people who's supposed no. to be dealing tons of damage doesn't have a weapon. The other one who's trying to do damage is currently trying to climb up onto his back. So that I can hit him! And right. also, don't forget, we have one hell of a spell that's written in a scroll, which I think BBS is planning a plan for. Oh. Well, I would like to Instance inform you... I'm saying to Sally if I were you, I'd drop off the dragon. But Flint would, not, Flint would not know, because it is... Is currently in the silent zone that he cannot hear outside. Yeah. Bit, yeah. We we can try to violently gesture at him, but he's also <laughs> violently moving. Flint might get electrocuted. But yeah. right now we still don't have that what we're looking for an electrocuting pole at the moment. We can so, do. Well we have one, but he he still hasn't gotten to it yet. So we still No, I tracked it. He's got it. I tracked he's it. Got it. He's got it. It's a it's a wooden pole. Okay. Well, then it's not going to conduct electricity anyway. He needs like a something steel or something metal. Yeah, yeah but right now he's a pull arm. He At just, least he, he can just, do he damage. He just cast the spell. Cast the spell and just hope to God he, he hits. He just needs to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, if, we have, if we have something metal in him, hey, we, we can have the axe go into him. Once, you know, Zelly's able to get the axe, just have Zelly thrust it in for damage and leave it there. Nah, you can just aim for yeah, So you might want to try to commune that to him. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Somehow work on that. In silence. Uh, Start range. writing a script on the wall, quick. Leave, <laughs> axe. <laughs> is it range next now? Yeah, range. Or is it the dragon's range. turn? Oh, the, yeah, the, 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 the dragon's going to get... you got one opportunity to do some damage now or the dragon's just going to lay into everybody. Oh, okay. God. I'm go go ahead and do your damage, hun. Oh god, give me a good roll instead of a one, for god's sake, please. Nothing too high. Okay, nothing too high, nothing too low. Yes! That's okay, yes. okay. Okay, yeah, you hit the dragon. <laughs> What's that, D, D4 damage, D6 damage? D6, it's to either a small, medium, and large enemy. So. Roll your D6! Four. Hey! Damage! Right. Go, Jade! <laughs> and it goes through the air. Thanks, yeah. Punctures mm. one of the actual wings of the of the of the, the dragon itself. Nice. That's what I was thinking to do. Seven. You so just brought it like... down to about halfway. Did I? No. He looks a tiny bit rough. <laughs> yeah. Just all the spell casting and all the attacks and everything else that's been going on, you brought it down to half hit points. He looks bruised, yeah. but he's still yeah. whacking. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shoot my arrow at him now. Okay. Come mm. on, Faye. Before you do that. Oh, okay. Uh, Never mind. My... <laughs> do do tell tell me tell me, Jai. Okay, I was gonna say before you do that, it may be a better to shoot something on him that is metal or something that would possibly get Flint to move or drop off of the dragon. Just shoot Flint. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I, well, at the moment I'm just trying to aim at a constantly moving dragon and that's hard enough. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna say no and I'm just gonna shoot and I hit him and I'm happy with that and now I want to kill him and do damage. Damage? Okay. What did you roll? Nine. Oh, nice. I need your rope. 
Is that? Oh, one. Uh, one damage. Uh, Say, uh, 36. 36. But he's halfway now, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's slightly below half now. <laughs> okay. Okay, anybody else doing anything? Not in range, no. I don't think. Oh, wait! I... Tussle! Tussle with I... the rock! Yeah, tussle with the rock. Tussle with the um, rock. And I tell Raceland that if he wants to get me a metal arrow to shoot with, I will happily try to fire it. What is that go? Just 18, I hit. Okay, you hit, yeah. Okay, where's that D4? There we go. Pew! Rock go! Three points. Three damage! Three damage! 33! Yeah, go to Tussle! Oh, goodness me. What? Uh. Maybe it's attacking. Missile. No? Nope. Now it's melee! Melee attack. And Zelly's already done it, hasn't it? No, no not melee. Not, out. not melee. This is Flint now. Flint, what are you doing? You've got a bat stuck in your beard at the moment. You're trying to hold on for dear life while this dragon's going absolutely yeah. But... I need to keep going! <laughs> I, I would like to point out, throughout the entire battle, you've not hit it once. <laughs> yes. I've been tr I've been climbing up, so I've been hitting him in terms of climbing. No, no, physically actually hit him this time. And Can then use, please, use your please, movement please, then to please, move. Please hit him. Like, Can you're I holding on to him. This is an attack phase. Please attack him. You can't... It's... But can he, though? If you if you attack, you, you, you can either you can either hold on, yeah, because you're holding on, or you can attack, and you'll have to let go to attack. How how close am I to his butt? <laughs> you can you're about, damage his freaking tail and pop You're about tail. four or five feet away from like this main part of his body. Yeah, you can attack him. You, you can take a swing at him. If you take a swing at him, then you can roll an attack, but you must let go. So, like, you can just, like, let go for a second, do an attack, and then you'll just fall off. So, if you miss, you'll still fall off. Or you can just hold on. So, it's up to you. FYI, if Link goes flying with the dragon, I'm not chasing. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't want to go flying off. I want to wedge his... The axe up his ass. You're gonna get one, one opportunity. Well, okay, then that, that's your choice, and I say, good on you. You're gonna get one <laughs> choice. To make an attack, you have to let go of the tail. If you let go of the tail, you're gonna come off either way. So you can it's either like, hold on, or you chance. can attack to come off. But you're gonna have to, you're gonna you're gonna come off. If you do an attack, you're gonna have to let go of the tail. Uh... No, this, yeah. is, this isn't his last chance to do an attack. This no, is just his last chance before the thing goes insane. Well, I did think of this one being my last round to try and get to his butt. And then next round, you're screwed because he, he would be attacking. He yes. said he's going to... He whispers what he said. This is going to be the oh, last he's gonna let rip. we he's have to do it. Yeah, he's going to let rip. He's going to let rip, but that doesn't mean that we won't survive it. Well, no, it probably just what? means he's going to fly it through the hole and disappear for a while and then blast something down. If that's the case, it's probably better to be on him. Yeah. No one knows what he's going to do. Yeah, he can survive. Yeah, exactly. I, and I'm just looking at his ass. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm focusing on keeping on. Okay, you got a bat in your beard as well. Guys, 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 guys. Hold on one second. Um, I just want clarification on one thing. Mm -hmm. The pole arm that BVS has, Whisper, can you please describe it again? It's about six foot long, it's about two inches wide, it's made of wood, and it's got a gold embroidery, kind of like a br gold rope, uh, wrapped around the center of it, acting like a hand grip. Right, surely that's what we are, really. Mm -hmm. Why am I thinking that could be the weapon? Does it have a point that you can hurt him? No, 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 it's blunted. It's blunted both ends. Yeah, I have to bear, bear in mind that this this dragon is pounding around on a big pile of steel pieces and various treasures and things like that. 
So guys, I think we have our metal. Don't really need to worry. No, it's sitting on a big giant heap of metal. Mm -hmm. So can we are also around the gold. Oh yeah, you're around the gold, yeah. yeah, yeah you're well, I'm using this as my final time where I'm going to try to get to his butt. Mm. Okay, dexterity check. So I can attack it. Dexterity, you're going to climb. Dexterity then. So you're still holding on. <laughs> dexterity to Listen, less. ten, motherfucker! Six, okay. Yes! You managed to climb as far as his back. Can you throw your sword into him? Yeah, you can try. So can I freak... Oh, uh, oh. You mean at me? No, 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 it's the dragon, not you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what you, if what I you... mean, your actions will either do one or the other, so she's already done her action. So have I done my melee question, question? Well, no, that was your thing. That, that was, was your thing. That's what you did. That's okay. what you did. That's it. Next round, I'm attacking him. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, Sounds good. BBS going to throw a sword at... They throw his sword at the dragon. Oh. Okay. Thirteen. That's kind of cover, actually. Okay. So you need uh, you need thirteen or higher, but you have to plus five to it. So uh, low. Lower. Lower. Or lower. Or lower. So you need the. Oh, it teleported. That's way too high. Hmm. What? I was gonna say it, it wasn't there, and then it just appeared. It yeah, it didn't even roll. It didn't even roll. Yeah, it didn't it, roll. It, it just disappeared and reappeared. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's oh, a roll. Oh, 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 okay. Six. All right. Caramon, is he, Caramon saw just go sailing through the air and it sticks into like the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Into the shoulder. If, and it, it, it buries itself in deep. So you can do damage if you want to. So uh, do your damage for the sword for large targets. Large sword. D8. D8. Okay. I think it's this one. Yeah, good. Do it. Roll a d8. This is for damage. The sword is now stuck in the dragon. Oh. Which one's oh, d12. the d12? D12. Is that is large? Is that under the d d8, damage large? D8. D8 to be large. Yeah, the d8 be large. So the brown one here. The brown one. So not, not d8 then. Not not d12. What what what? No, a D12 would be for a smaller target against a large sword. D8 will do. There's less damage against a large target. So it's D8. Mm. Uh, six points damage. Six! Nice! Lodge. That sword could be a good conductor right. now, wouldn't it? Yeah, the dragon is now really enraged now. It's definitely just going to blast everything. And like, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to lash out now because it's just had the sword just driven in between someone between its neck and its. Uh, and its front uh, limbs, like in its shoulder. So, are we all saving against breath? Is it like a, a splurt of blood seems to like just like oozing out of its uh, shoulder now, and it's dropping a drip, dripping onto the gold and onto Might the steel. Have a look yeah, yeah, not yet. Um, the uh, dragon's the, uh, attacking first before we move. The, yeah, the the acid is just dripping down now. It's rolling down its leg, coming down its shoulders, coming down its chest, and it's coming down its legs. And everywhere you can see the dragon just standing, he seems to be eating wait, into the metal. Wait a minute. Metal. Wait a minute. We're, we're pausing two seconds. What? Because we're starting a new round, and Tika didn't get her movement. No, we're not starting a round. Dragon's still doing his move. May his melee move from last round? Not yet. Okay. Because I thought we had a movement round. No, no, we 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 had a, we had a, we had a, a met. This is this was a melee round. Well, it was, was a melee, melee, okay. A melee round, yeah. Because we just had Flint who tried to do a climb maneuver. Yeah, and um, melee, Caramon yeah. has thrown his sword into the dragon. It speared its shoulder. Okay. Yeah, so it did, can, we got, we since, got, yeah. Since Flint was able to do a climb maneuver, can. Tika do an escape maneuver, like a get the F out of there maneuver. Yep, dexterity check. Okay, cool. Can I get to her mover? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Tika has a 16 dex, right? Okay, 16 or less. Uh, let me check and get that up. So is this our movement round then? Or? Whoa! <laughs> 
Ooh, dear. Ooh. Two. Oh, two. Two. <laughs> two. That's fine. <laughs> oh, she went to my screen. She does yeah, like Tika kind of... has a 16 dexterity. Yeah, she does kind of like a, a scramble and a roll over, and she's kind of like crawling away, like on her on her elbows, kind of like 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 slithering away, like kind of almost like body like um, surfing, um, acr scraping across the um, the the coinage, and moves towards Skullmoon. Yes. Huzzah! Okay. Because I, I think that that would count as like a combat maneuver. Because yeah. she's just like, I'm out, like, run away, run away, run away. It's not, she's not so much running away, kind of like rolling and sliding away. R rolling and sliding away, trying to actively dodge anything. Yeah. Um, the, the blood is now running down the um, down the, the inside front leg of this dragon. You can see it's like an oily blackness. And everywhere you can see where the dragon's been standing, it seems to be just melting the gold or melting the steel. Bollocks. Well, uh, there goes one fun. Okay, um, roll for your uh, wolves, Jai. <sighs> one sec. <sighs> four, we have. Yeah, four of them. Okay. That's a failure. Yeah. Natural one. Three more to go. Bling. Come on, wolves, kill it. 18. 18. That's a miss. Third one. 15. It's a miss. Go. Miss. One last one. Oh, let's <laughs> run into everything. Oh. Oh, one hit. 10. One hit. You got one that's. um. I can see the the the, the 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 dragon is just taking a like a snap at one of them and just like you see its jaws it just away. lop around it no literally lop around it picks it up and just flings it like just 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 reaction just flings it it goes flying through the air and smashes into one of the walls. Oh, so they poof away then? But yeah, they just they, they just disappear like they dematerialize when they're dead. Well, bugger. Okay, roll for damage for your last one there, Jai. Ah! That was a slide. I, 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 I believe. Hold on, I'll pick it up. Okay, just, just, just shake it around. That'll do. Yeah. One, one point damage. Of course, of course. Of <laughs> course, of course. <laughs> mm. I mean, of course, of course. Alright! Nah, nah, nah. Is it movement now? Movement, movement. Nobody wants to maneuver out the way. I mean, Tika's already maneuvered out the way. Flint's taken this opportunity to climb I'm, up onto the dragon's I'm, back. I'm heading back towards the door then, if that's the case. So, the nearest door that's to me. Okay, uh, that's next to where Tika and Goldmoon are. Goldmoon are, yes. Um, and Tazlal. Yeah. 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 Can, can Tika that. hand the discs over to Goldmoon? Yeah. Here, take discs. Oh, Goldman, you have the discs. I thank you. I take. So when you take the discs, when you take the discs, you see your your blue crystal stuff starting to like radiate, like pulsate. Up blow up. I'll see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to happen. Uh, I believe so. But yeah, your your your, your blue crystal stuff is like radiating bright blue now, like pulsing with intensity. Okay. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Should I touch the staff with the thing or what? I mean, uh, maybe wait until the timing is right. Um, as a dragon, I, we have a dragon in the room. The time's right. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. But that's fair. I don't know what it'd do. I know it. Um, First, they help me defeat them. So maybe meditate and pray to your goddess <laughs> while this battle's going. I don't yeah. think I've got the time to do that. <laughs> do I get well, any that uh, it sort of gives me a hint of what I'm supposed to do with them? <clears throat> now I'm holding them. It's glowing. What do they do? What is it? What am I? Asks for it to kill dragon. 
No, I, I think Try it should be a certain timing, like when the dragon is near close to death, I think. It is near close to death. It, yeah. It's, it's it over halfway rough. dead. It, yeah, it's over halfway dead. 26 points, we can kill that next round if we don't all get ones. Is it at 26? It's gonna let rip. Yeah. It's at 26. It's gonna let I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. I've been giving it. Okay, but like, do I touch the staff to it? Do I just go here? I've got it. I, mean, I don't understand what it's supposed to do. Maybe, oh, maybe, try, body, just... maybe try, maybe try to touch the staff to it. Tap it. Aim at the dragon. Okay, I, I, I touch the staff to it because it's pulsating really bright light. Really... To the, to the discs. Yeah. Okay. Um. The, the staff. The staff is still glowing. The staff is still glowing, but you don't feel anything like like as if the situation is supposed to change or alter or anything like that. Um. But you you do hear the the like a spirit within the staff, the same one that was in the statue, telling you to strike the dragon. With what? Well, My staff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I, it's movement, so what do I do? I mean, I don't understand the rules, because I'm, at the, I'm at the end of my movement here, yeah? So, like, I, yeah, but that's a spell round, so what, uh, we're in movement round. Okay, can, can, we do, can we do divine intervention, and she's just allowed to do the thing she's just been ordered it's to? Like, it's like everything, everything in the room just seems to have, like, stopped. I mean, for everybody else, the action is still going on, it's still going absolutely crazy. Mm. But for, um, for Gold Moon, mm -hmm. it's like the room has just been put on stop. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I understand a bit more now. Yeah. So I, I, now, now this, like, this, this divine intervention, this. like everything in the room is just like like either either Gold Moon is like hyperactive and running like 50 million frames per second, or like or, or time seems time seems to have stopped. But for everybody else, um, it's like situation normal. You know, big dragon mm -hmm. going absolutely ape in the what middle haste? of this room, going mental. Um, and for. For Gold Moon, Gold Moon, you get this, 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 like this voice from inside the staff telling you that you to strike the dragon, just hit the dragon. Okay, so I, I, I in my head, I go, my hand is still, and then I slowly walk. Well, I don't slowly. I, I walk towards the dragon, getting ready to strike it with my staff. Okay. Okay. Um, everybody else, um, Flint, you are like on, like almost on the dragon's back. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this. The, the wolves. You see the wolves, kind of like still like taking, taking bites. I'm out waiting of it. for the, the round where I can actually now. axe his ass. Okay. <laughs> BB has just gone. Out of time. Yeah. Wait, what the <laughs> hell? Okay. Uh, the oh. BBS is up for your lightning bolt. Okay, it's now or never. No, it can't be for his lightning bolt. Oh, okay. He was just rolling. Like, I, I have school for that, so that. that oh, would have to okay, <laughs> right. I thought BBS had it. I okay. took it from him the last time. What did he say? Well, oh. he's... No, I never. By the way, did you see the. What, what, did Lee, what did Lee. Oh, that roll is for what? Just for fun, just for rolling. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I got that on my BBS. You could have had there for the spell. Like, he, anyway. He, he couldn't, though, because he doesn't have the, the Malayan Bolt spell anymore. I do. Yeah, Jai has, has it. it. Um. Okay, so we have a gold moon in suspended time approaching the dragon to strike it. Does gold moon need to roll? No, gold moon doesn't need to roll. But gold, gold moon needs to do a um, do, do a thaco attack. But it's against uh, it, it's not against his armor class. Just has to actually roll the thaco. So what's your thaco for your staff? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a staff thaco. It'll be on the second sheet. No, I, my weapons is a sling. That, yeah, that's it. So what? what? I mean, it's all you got. It's all you got. Yeah, I mean, it's a staff, isn't Obviously. it? It's not a weaponry thing. It's just a magical staff. Okay. So... Wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be based on magic? I mean, if you wanted me to do my staff, uh, my w weapons, that means you told me I had to take a round to swap out. So that means another round before I can actually do it. Okay, okay. you got your blue crystal staff. I'm just looking at it now. What about um... your divine weapon? Uh, We're well, looking well, it up. I, okay, I, do, it up. I have the spiritual hammer, but... No, I'm looking at it. Like, oh, I mean, okay, um, we're fine. Uh, you got one free attack on the staff. If you hit, well, what, you, you will you will automatically get an automatic hit on the dragon. Yeah. 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 When it hits the dragon, there's going to be a huge explosion. Okay, well that can't be helped. No. <laughs> no, that really can't be helped, guys. Okay. 
there will be there will be a huge explosion. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm saying. You get the impression that as soon as you hit this dragon, something big's going to go, go, go boom, boom. Mm. So. Ah, uh, this round I wanted to axe his butt. I oh, know you spent all this time climbing. <laughs> do I have? Yeah. Can I still? Do, axe do I have butt? a chance? <laughs> do I have a chance? Because if time slowed down for me and I'm moving. Time like, slowed down. Yeah, time seems Normally, but everyone's like pretty much. Yeah, you see. How much flipped? time do I have to like? Oh. Like, presuming the dragon is pretty much stationary for me now, then I can see it moving ever so slowly. It's moves moving fractionally slowly. You can see there's like there's, there's like a wolf that seems to be like doing a leaping maneuver, trying to attack its legs. You can see a flint who's like looks looks like he's in excruciating pain or in constipation or something like that, trying to hold onto <laughs> his tail and trying to grab hold of the dragon's back, like with she determination. You can see on the far side of the room, you can see a Tanis who seems to be like just getting ready to do another, like load another arrow and looking around the room um, anxiously. You can see a Caramon okay, so... who seems to be sprinting towards the door, trying to be the first one out of it. So here's what I want to try to do, and you have to tell me if I can do it. I yeah. want to go up towards its head, and I want to jam my staff in its face. Uh, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. That's what I want to do then. The, dragon, do the, dragon, the dragon can't see you, and the dragon can't hear you. Yeah, and it's going really slow at and the moment. So the, the room seems to have gone really, really slow. You, you can see Tasselhoff now. You can see Tasselhoff, who seems to be like looking and glaring at the dragon, kind of like shaking his fist at it. Rock to the face! So, yeah, uh, so what do I roll for? Uh, you just get a free action. You just get a free hit. You just go hit it. Say I hit. That's enough. Okay, so you hit. Yeah. Yep. There's, like, 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 as soon as you hit it, the blue crystal staff itself shatters into a million pieces, like into to fragments of glass. Yeah. Oh, There's a staff. Everybody, everybody in the room just sees this now. There's just a. From nowhere, you see Goldmoon stood in front of the of the of the this big giant black serpent, winged serpent, and just seems to just swing the staff towards its mouth, hits it almost face on. There's a giant explosion, a big giant like ball of white light seems to envelop the 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 the, the dragon and the entire room. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's a tremendous loud, like, oh, like, like, almost like a clap of thunder, just as this happens. You see Gold Moon disappear. Yeah? What? Just disappear in light. Um, um, and, and, and the dragon, you hear the screamings of a dragon. Yeah? Yeah. And then for everybody else, there seemed to be just like just complete darkness. Like you all lose consciousness. Oh, whoa! Wait, we all lose conscious? Yeah, all lose consciousness. Okay. You all. Sometime later. Wake up. Not knowing how you got there. Or how. You manage to like get back there. But you all wake up again, just outside the doors to the temple. Wait, what? Like you're all laid down on the floor, all nursing a bad head, like looking around. You can see Gold Moon, and you see uh, Flint. Where's the dragon's ass? <laughs> and see Tasselhoff, and you see you've still got your weapons in your hands. Like all ready, poised, ready to what to do. Apart from Caramon, who's decided to just leave it in the dragon. Now we've got no weapon. I quickly go over to. There's no wolf. The There's no Is bats. Okay? Yeah, you have your stick. Um, oh, he's <laughs> losing his oh. weapons. This is yeah, terrible. You got no wolves. There's no no bats or anything like that. Um, okay, when when we regain consciousness, can I go directly over to Flint and shake his beard? Just to oh, be yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no bats in there. <laughs> there's no bats in there. There's no bats. There's no. Yeah. There's no bats. There's no yeah, spiritual hammer. Away. There's no spiritual Gone. hammer. Um, yeah. I will say to the party. We have defeated the dragon. And we have 
connected the disc of it's Mish Kel. Mish Kel. See, I read Michelle on my paper. I didn't understand why I read Michelle. Mish Kel. Brent, what are you going to charge me to make a new sword <laughs> weapon? Um, okay, so yeah, so you've all been spontaneously teleported, either by your actions or by something, some force with that was trapped inside the blue crystal staff. Blue crystal staff is now gone. Blue crystal staff is gone. All its potential, all its power, all its healing abilities, all its inert magics and all the rest of it are now gone. What? Yeah. Yes, I have lost my staff. Yeah. Everybody else has Ten Tennis, Tennis grabs out his sword and kneels before Goldmoon and sets his sword down. <laughs> so that's enough. I was so close to hitting it in the ass. <laughs> and and then Tennis addresses her and addresses Goldmoon and says, "My lady, such an act could only come from one blessed of the gods." I guess this is proof that the gods exist. Yeah, you have the you have this. Yeah. Also, do disc, anyone of yeah. you need healing? Yes. <laughs> Um, I, oh. I, I'm fine, oh. but I, I point out that we need to get those discs and share that information with the rest of the world, and so we should probably go to Panthalus. Uh, the next is the wisest move all day. Okay. Uh, who, who needs healing? Probably Flynn. Sure. Is it just you? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's you. What I'm alright. I have 35 hit points, but yeah, I used you, to you have 45 you, hit points. Yeah, you see. So, yeah, you yeah, 10 yeah. points. Oh. Cam Cameron, oh, Cameron, 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 five. Five points in the dragon, but I never healed from the previous five points I lost in previous battles. Right, so very quickly, I, I do I have the stick still? And is that with me, or have I not got any staff at all? The blue crystal staff is gone. If you had anything so else beforehand, the whole the whole thing. It, it, okay. so, yeah, yeah the whole you're just thing only healing skills. The whole thing no, seems to be shattered. The, the last thing you remember is just the, the the staff itself just resonating, and then as soon as it touched the dragon, it just shattered, and then all the fragments seem to envelop like around the dragon, like a whirlwind, and then there was just a blinding light, and then you all just walk up where you where you found yourselves, just outside of the temple. <laughs>